so when we last left off, uh, the most of you, well, all of you actually, were tasked by a an individual uh, who seemed to have connections. Me cutting out there. Yeah, that's, hopefully that doesn't happen too much. Um, who seemed to have connections with an individual uh, named Declan Gree, who um, seemed to be a friend of uh, Princess Nikita's mother, uh, Queen Akasha. You guys went along, and after a few pro uh, probing and uh, prodding, you decided to still go along with the mission. You found an artifact, which was a teleportation anchor in the ship of a merchant. You managed to sneak in, sneak out, without too much trouble. And uh, you used an artifact after traversing this forest and arriving at uh, a crater, which seemed to emanate this both wintry and magical essence that seems to amplify the magics around. You guys arrived, set up your ambush, and commenced battle. You were really close to defeating Zephyr until it got to his turn and he summoned some aid and backup. You guys now find yourselves bruised and almost beaten, wondering how you guys are going to get out of this situation. Or maybe there's still hope. Who knows? I guess we'll start there. Nakia. It's your turn. We're going to start it off with you. You watch as you can see across the distance. Um, most of the quadrals are actually injured. Some of the, one of them is close to death. The the green one right next to you, you can see as it's beating its wings, but it's it's faltering and it's um, having trouble keeping itself aloft. The orange one looks perfectly fine, untouched. And then the group over there by Talwin. Um, they themselves, a bit of injury there, but you're unsure. So, Nakia, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Ah, uh, yes. <sighs> well, um, I have got my hound of ill omen over... You do? Yes, I do. He's... Right over here. So he's gonna be able to make an attack. Of, uh, go yeah, ahead. he's he's going after the main person because I sent him after him. Let's go for yes. it. Yes, I was like him. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so we got. Just making sure everything is. So he attacks to fear. And as long as he's near him, I think he does bad things to him. I do believe he has advantage oh, uh, because he? of pack tactics, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he does have pack tactics. an ally. So you can roll again. Ooh, uh, we'll take the 18. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't quite pierce the fears. Um, super well armored form. Ah, happens. It happens to the best of us. It does. But that was just your your hound. You still have your full turn to go. Yes. I also also try to see what the hound does. You can make opportunity attacks, and the target has disadvantage on. Saving throws against spells cast against you. Oh. Oh, spells. Uh, oh no, sorry. Spells I cast. Gotta Good to know. That. Yeah, so he has disadvantage if I cast anything at him. Good to but know. But he's clear across the field from you. <clears throat> I know, he really is. Well, he is He's, right he's within now. 120 feet, so if you have anything of that nature. Yes. Yeah. 
I'm just trying to think. Um... And I have a friend really close to him, so I gotta be careful not to do one that does. Um... She, she's looking all right. Honestly, she hasn't taken that many hits, and you know that she can wild shape, so she she looks over to you and she she nods in agreement as in go ahead do whatever you want i'll be fine ah uh, well that's always good so I she's at 100 going... hit points and she, she could wild shape so she's got a ton of them <laughs> well good for her let's see Disadvantage of saving throws. Okay, so I need something that has a saving throw. All right, we're going to do seventh level lightning. It's a deck save. He has Chain lightning. Yeah. So, all right, first up is a fear. What did I roll? Let's see. Yes. So that was the fear. He, yeah, he, he, um, all right. And then who do you want it to split off to? You have, uh, I'm three going bolts. after the big guy. Actually, and you the... have three bolts, so you could hit all three. Okay, I'll go for all three then. So I need to roll that two more times? Yes. Uh, no, no, you don't have to roll. Um, it just automatically arcs over to them. Ah. And okay. they just have to make their save. So this guy has to make his save. This also defender. And he does not. Yes! And uh, the blue coatle. See him. Uh, blue, the blue and the red. Yeah, the blue and the red coatle. Oh, right. The red, this is a knight. Yes, right, but got... the um, yeah, yeah, the yeah. model changed shape into that. Right, 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 right. Um, so first coronal, the blue one. Fail. I think that's a fail. And the it knight, because the knight uses different stats. Um Yes. Oh, he shouldn't have advantage, but But it doesn't matter, he noise. failed. <laughs> so as you summon this oh uh, seventh level, I'm gonna need you to roll a D one hundred actually. <laughs> Oh, we have right. like magic effects of some sort. Ah, yes. <laughs> you remember that any spell above six while in this forest seemed to um, seem to cause a surge of magic. Happens. 43. Wow. Um, okay. For the next minute, teleport up to 20 feet as a bonus action. Ooh, yes. All right. So keep that in mind. And uh, well, so, yeah, they uh, all take that damage. I... So, the blue one first, yeah. let me. Oh, wait, 40, 42? Mm -hmm. You watch as. The universe um, and everything. It, hit, it hits Saphir. He takes a sizable chunk. Um, actually, he you see as he he's not looking as hardy as before, he's below triple digits now. Yes. So, this is minus him. So, he's at that. Let me just double. Let me just get the minus on the health you watch as the blue quadrant he takes this impact and you you feel like he's just about to like perish he's about to die but he's barely holding on he's for all intents and purposes he's got one hit point left yes oh the blue one has one all right um you watch as the the knight the he takes that hit and he's he's not looking too good so he's at that hit points okay and then the big celestial defender he takes the hit but he's still looking pretty hardy all right um i am going to then quicken a spell mm -hmm. <laughs> you can only cast a second level and lower by the way. Uh, yes, I Even know. And working. it is a second level spell. Scorching Ray, Scorching 120 Ray. feet. So who do you want to go for? 
I'm going for our main person. All three? Or do you want to uh, maybe chuck one off to like... Um, I think this I want to chuck... Yeah, I'm gonna check one off to, one the, to the blue. Yeah. Okay, so two on the main guy, one on the blue. Yeah. One, yeah. All right. So, uh, Sophia's gonna make two. Oh no, range spell attacks. Twenty six hits. Make another spell attack. Uh, let me reroll. Yes. Oh, uh, you could just click. Um... Okay, that's that's that. And you, could, I think you could just. Yeah, not the repeat, but the 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 range spell attack. I think you could put uh, that button. Yeah. Okay. Oh, if you want to take that, you could. Yeah, I'll I'll take. Yes. The 20. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely take the twenty now. So, uh, but that one will be against the the blue one. We'll just say you hit that guy. So you watch as one of the bolts manages to strike true onto Zephyr, and the you see his bits of his feathers blacken, and you see uh, one little feather just drop to the floor. And he, he, he's looking a bit injured from that. And you do the, the second ray, bat, like, almost hits him, but he sees it coming and he swoops out of the way. Unfortunately, uh, the third ray eventually goes for the Celestial Defender and the Defender backs up and it hits the blue quaddle. And you watch as this quaddle disappears and bursts into this vibrant, radiant light and is gone. All right, one gone. And Sapphire takes that much damage. Got it. And I'm hoping that I live through <clears throat> the next round. <laughs> Yasmin, you're up. I'm going to come in here next to the hound. And I am going to strike at Zephyr. Go for it. You were hidden, because I believe you hid last time. So you will get um, your sneak attack. Plus, there's a guy next to him. So you will have advantage, and you get sneak attack. Yes, okay. First strike with the rapier. Bonus advantage strike with the dagger. Oops, I am not. shouldn't be on disadvantage. That's... First one was five. Yeah, oh, first it was five and six. So yeah, the first one was it anyway. And sneak attack for the the rapier hit sixteen plus twenty seven. Oof! It's actually you know you guys were so worried and um, you didn't realize that Zephyr is still a like he's player made as in he's meant to be like a player character and he's looking really rough. Good. Mm-hmm. And I have to stay here, so that's my turn. So you're staying here. Next up, it's the Coatl's turn. Um, so you watch. Uh, we'll go with the knight first. Um, let's see. The knight's going to try to interpose himself um, Zephyr, with Zephyr and you. And he's going to make one attack against Talon, the other attack against you. Okay. With the greatsword. So first one against you. That misses. 15, and then he reaches back and tries to sick Talon, which does hit, but since she's raging, she only takes three damage. And, uh, yeah, that's all that knight can really do. Was she reckless? I mean, he hit anyway, but... Um, I think she... Yeah, she already, he already hit him already. Yeah, but she was yeah. using reckless. We'll roll again to see if it's a crit. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, then we've got the orange and the green. The green is going to go up to the spellcaster. So the coatl, he's going to go ahead and try to constrict you. Um, yeah. Does it take damage? Because then I will start. I'll use my... Um... 24. So as it goes to constrict, constrict you, Nakia... Um, Opal, you gonna do something? This was the intercept. green one. The green one, yes. Okay. Can you while you're Go blinded? Ahead. It is true you did end last round uh, blinded. Yeah, it doesn't say otherwise, but okay. So it doesn't uh, say a target link... you can see. Yeah, link the spell just to double check. It's not a spell. Hold on, I'll just give it out. Give me a second. 
As long as they're like 10, 15, 15 minutes a second. Uh... Good. I thought I had this one out. Uh, in the meantime, um, you also have to make. No, you're grappled currently. Uh, Nakia. So I'm grappled? Yes, you are grappled. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's can see, so never mind then. All right, and you take the six damage from the bludgeoning. Oof. The orange coatle is going to come in and it's going to go. Zoop. Uh, and he's going to make, I think, Oops. sorry, what should he make? Uh, he's going to go for the Constrict too, but he's going to have advantage because since you're blind. Yeah. So he's going to go in for the Constrict. 23. Fuck off. And you watch this, the, the, the orange one also constricts you. So you are now well, grappled. And in that up. case, I'll use my other one to like restri um, to teleport out of that, so he doesn't restrain me, and I just um, resist the damage. Yeah, I think that's one that you don't have to see with. So yeah, go ahead, um, roll your thing for resisting the damage. It just takes like half, doesn't it? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, you get resistance, so you only take four bludgeoning, and you get to teleport, but. Since you're not really seeing where you're teleporting, I'll just say you teleport out of the grapple, so you're not grappled, but you're staying in place. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, that's fine. Because you you can't really see where you're teleporting to. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't like want to teleport too far because I know where the princess is, so I want to be close to her. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, you're not grappled, but you do take four damage. All right, it's Talon's turn, and per Robin's instructions, um, <laughs> she's going to you watch as. She looks around at the dire uh, situation we're in. And she goes ahead and she watches she full on sprints towards the crater. So she sprints to the crater. The Celestial Defender is going to get an attack on her. As she leaves the combat. 22 it does hit and a 17 Radiant, so it's not halved. So she takes uh, some parts of sheet. Probably should have brought up her sheet earlier. My bad. Yeah, it's radiant, so she does not take half. And um, fear is also going to make an attack against her. So, and so fear, he's going to cast. So please, because he's got war cast. It's got Warcaster, so he's just going to do Toll of the Dead on her. I'm pretty sure that... Or oh, I think Warcaster might be a tack roll, actually. Um, spell must have a casting time. No, it must have a casting time of one action and must only target the creatures. So yeah, so he's got to make a Wisdom saving throw. Or take not 1d12, but um, 4d12. So 40, 12, and then she takes half. She makes her wisdom save. Oh, it's a lot of damage on that cantrip. Uh, oh. It's a cantrip, so there is no half. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, she just takes it. Okay, so wisdom save. Is it take or don't take? I don't know why she had disadvantage on that. Um, she would have had 16 plus 17, which still wouldn't be enough. So yeah, she takes the full 37, and that is, I believe necrotic damage so she doesn't even take half of that either so she's looking hurt, but she's looking hurt but she has a plan so you watch as Talon kind of almost gets to the crater she gets hit by two things and then she you watch as she slides down you can't see what happens and then all of a sudden there is this massive ice energy that just shoots out as she casts um, she's going to cast Ice Storm 
And because she's in the crater, it's amplified. So it's going to be a 20 foot radius. 40 foot. Ooh, Robin was thinking. <laughs> yes. So 20 foot, she, uh, she wouldn't want to get you guys in. So she's going to just, it's going to be like here. Yeah. So that'd be fine. It technically, uh, I think I could get a way to get not you in that. Could I actually, could I take my reaction after this guy's turn? Mm hmm. What would you like? Um, so from my skirmisher, I can move half my speed away from him without an op attack at the end of his. Oh, when it, he ends it's within... fine because actually she, it wouldn't have gotten you anyways, and she could get yeah. one. Yeah. Because when he. Sorry. When he ends within five feet of... When an opponent ends within yes. five feet of me. You can. So she's going to cast that. And since it's amplified, it's normally just 2d8. Wait, really? 2d8? Um, 2d8. Oh, then they must make a save. Uh, okay. So 2d8 first, but we're going to add an extra d8 for the just straight bludgeoning. So they take 11 damage automatically. Uh, so the knight takes 11. The knight's not looking so hot. Uh, Zephyr takes 11. 27. And the Celestial Defender takes 11. He's a Celestial Defender, and then kind of shakes it off. Uh, so it's... Uh, mm -hmm. And then they all must make deck saving throws. So Zephyr. Fail? 11. Fail. Alright, the Knight... Fail? Fail, yeah. So let's see Thunder. Oof! No, save on the Celestial Thunder. So, yeah, the um, big boy yeah. has no trouble. So it's going to be 46, but it's going to be 66. Because it's amplified, so we're going to do mm -hmm. 5 and then 1. Wow, bad roll. That's still 16 points. So you watch as the this ice storm begins to gather and you watch as these, it's almost like hail hits into all the targets there. Uh, the knight, he's, he's not looking too good. And then the cold starts to seep in and the knight freezes. You watch as it becomes a statue and the knight is no more. Any foot radius? 10, 15. The knight is 30. no more. Oops. Oh yeah, he doesn't have the blast because I think it was the other guy casting on him. Yes, and then Zephyr, he takes the, the 16. Ooh, Zephyr is not looking hot. Oh. 11, but I know what he's going to do on his turn. And the defender is, defender takes uh, half of that, so he's going to take 8. Alright. Okay, so, so you can move. We can move that to wherever that's the difficult terrain. Like that, that would be yeah, yeah. That's how it was. All right, and then that's that was just her action. For a bonus action, she's going to wild shape, and you um, you watch as she. I'm the only uh, one who can see it. Her down there. Yeah, you'd be able to see and you watch as her form shifts and transforms. And you're able to see from the center of the crater this the energy that's been pouring out, the, this blast of cold kind of envelops her and starts wrapping around her as she transforms. And you see where once was Tawin. Let's bring her off the map. As a young adult dragon steps out. Oh, he's pretty large. And then breath she's going to just move weapon. Yes, so she's going to move out. And that's going to be the end of her turn. As you watch, as Tawin, the, the rest of you watched, um, not you, Opal, you're blind. Um, but not I can hear you, it. Yeah, you could hear it. But you, you watch as uh, Tawin goes down the crater. And you see emerge this, this big white dragon. And you hear the roar. That seems to echo through the woods. All right, that's her turn. It's the defender's turn. The defender is going to do what he does, and he's going to actually give some healing to um, as his action. 
So he just reaches down and heals the fear for 15 hit points, and that's his turn. And he's going to try to step into uh, right next to the dragon. So the fear gets back up. Uh, that many points. All right. Opal, it's your turn. You get to make a save against the blindness at the end of your turn. Oh, that's perfect, because I'd like to bonus action use Guardian um, uh, guardian of Nature first, so sure. I can have advantage on my con saves. Go for it. I think you already had that up, did you not? Or it might have dropped because of all the damage you took. Oh yeah, it dropped, because I couldn't keep the con, so that's true. Is, is, can I not cast recast it? No, you could be cast it. So I will cast it, and I will give myself 10 temporary hit points. This is a bonus mm -hmm. action, by the way. Can I cast still... your wounds afterwards? Yes, you could cast your wounds. You could still attack. It would just be at disadvantage. Well, that's exactly why I want to get this out of the way. But actually, it would be at advantage because my dex attacks are at advantage with nature. Um, with so it would be a straight roll if you want to Yeah, it would be a straight roll if I wanted to attack. But I'm going to heal myself right after. Go for it. So yeah, um, you you cast this spell on you. What level spell was that? Fourth it's level four. Fourth. So okay, got it. I've been so keeping no, track of my spell points. Don't worry, I'm at like ten spell points left, I think. All right, and then you heal yourself up as you feel as energy course through you. Close your wounds and your. I'll cast that at a so level three. three, I think. Uh, it would have to be two. It have to be two. Is that how it works? Yes. Because you cast right. another leveled spell. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Second, um, and at the end of your turn, unless do uh, you want to do anything for your movement? Um. Well, I'll probably do a con. Yeah. Yes. Make your con save at advantage. Okay, so second two cons. Two things. This one. This one level two. Did it go through with the cure? Yes, it did. You received 13 hit points back. Okay, and then I got 10 temporary hit points. Rolling at, rolling at advantage with, um, with con shift. Uh, oh, the 18 does save, actually, so you're no longer blinded. Yes! Oh. So you watch as, at the end of your turn, uh, your eyes are once just black, and um, you, you couldn't see anything. The, the darkness subsides, and you're able to see in front of you. You see Naki is being harried by um, a quaddle to your left, and it's it's grappling, it's grappling its way around her, and you see this white dragon going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Celestial Defender. And you're also able to see as the fear, it's his turn. He looks around, he's looking really hurt. He's going to cast, um, he's going to cast heal on himself using his last high-level slot. So it's sixth level. So he just regains 70 hit points. Cast that. But he's going to make a D100 roll. Because that's a 6 level spell. 61. And you see when uh, he goes to the... He, uh, he's like, continue defending me. But he says that, but he shouts it whenever he speaks. He's only shouting whenever he speaks now. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> um, I probably know this, but what languages does the princess speak? Uh, common and abyssal. Oh, hopefully, no one can speak abyssal. It's like, uh, I'll just say to you in abyssal, we better work fast. <laughs> Nakia. And I will return the comment. I am leaving. <laughs> Actually, Nakia, as you survey the battlefield, um, other than the Celestial Defender and the Orange Coatl, you got an you got a white dragon on your side. You feel confident that while you might not be um, the most well, um, you might not be really up at the moment. You, the, you, this fight is entirely winnable. I will say to her in Abyssal, it's like, at first, that was my first thought, but now that we've got a, a fucking dragon over there, I think the battle, the turn of the tide has changed. Don't worry, I got your back, Nikki, and I wink. That's the first time <laughs> you noticed, like, the voice changed a little bit. Like, that, that one person only calls you that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm... 
Okay. Uh, you see it's this Kwanos around you. You see uh, gashes and wounds, and it's it's bleeding like this radiant blood. And um, it's looking pretty hurt, actually, this one that's on you right now. Yeah, probably wouldn't want to bite it. <laughs> Let's finish the rest of these idiots. Yeah, well, I'm going to start with my wolf. So my wolf is... Your wolf can go ahead and attack. Bite. Um, with advantage, yeah. Uh, 21, just barely hitting as you do 11 piercing. Uh, go ahead and make a DC 13 strength save for me. Uh, don't you have uh, no he makes it yes the fear sorry. Makes it. Makes... The fear makes i don't it. make it you make it <laughs> yeah that's right um he's got to beat 13. but he does yeah yeah he does so he's not knocked prone but he still takes the full damage which is it pretty good full damage. So... that's like one seventh of his spell that he just spent, did and that was a free action on you so yes pretty it good. was i love that all right because it's an independent entity <laughs> <laughs> Um, I am going to cast this at fourth level. Cloud of Daggers, 60 feet. So, there is no dodging. It uh, is just it, the range is 60 feet, unfortunately. Oh, I know, but I'm going for the orange. Oh, you're going for the orange, just straight up. Yeah. All right. I'm just sitting it on the orange it's five foot by five foot square sitting on top of him so i'll say he first takes the 24 oh and you cast it like that so he first takes the 24 and then on the, at his turn he's going to take another additional damage so it takes right because so, the, be or mm -hmm. the orange yeah. one himself wasn't too uh he wasn't too he was he was full up the green one was the one that was damaged. Just let me know. Right. The, tw the orange one's not been hurt, so he's now hurt. Yes. And if he doesn't move, he keeps taking the damage. <laughs> Which All is right. nice, because this Are is a concentration, stung? and it lasts a minute. So let me make a note to myself. You still have a bonus action. I am. And I am going to wink at the guy holding me and step into a shadow. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> if he can stab a shadow, let's see. I want to go. 100. Actually, I can't see that. I need a brighter color to go stabby, stabby for him. Yeah, I'm going to move up about eh, about fifty feet. That should do oh. it. Way up here. So I'm still in range of him. Okay, here's the stabby cloud. Yep. <laughs> yes, stabby cloud. Yeah, one minute of stabby cloud. <laughs> Don't go in the stabby cloud. <laughs> it's indiscriminate. <laughs> and yeah, these guys are still in range. Okay, so I took my step, which is my bonus action, and I did my cloud, which is my action. And I stepped away. <laughs> All right, that's that's your turn. <coughs> Good turn, honestly. Um, Yasmin, it's your turn. All right, I am going to step. Um, apparently under, uh, this guy, so that I can um, attack Zephyr. She fell to the ground there, then. Yeah. So that I can attack Zephyr. Go ahead with advantage. Okay, there's the rapier attack. And the sneak attack on it. Do Ooh, I also side... have a do I also have advantage on my um bonus mm. Sorry, actually you wouldn't have advantage because you didn't hide last round. That's true. Um, you use your bonus action attack, but it was still the but 20. The 18 was the first one. one, so Yeah. You still right. have the sneak attack though. So uh so, All right. so here's my offhand attack. 40. Uh, the dagger misses, unfortunately, but you still do a really sizable chunk to him. He's he's under 50. Yep. And I am going to stay put. Provide flanking for the dragon. The Quaddles, um 
First one's the orange one, so he takes another roll the damage again for Cloud of Daggers. All right. Uh, and you watch oh, it's as... it's going to let me re-roll that. <laughs> they're looking back and they're seeing Zephyr taking all this damage, and they're going to do what they are originally sent here to do, and they're going to go back and try to go protect him. So you watch as this one moves away. Opal, you do get an attack of opportunity on the green yeah, one. I will, I, will do, I will do an attack, so just a simple attack. Yes, go for it. And they're flying, so they're not really affected by the different terrain. Right. Uh, do I still get advantage with uh, with my dex? Yes, back? yes, you do because you have your spell running. Okay, so the orange one takes eighteen. Uh, where's the one? Oh wait, Dur my sheet. Come here. Um, twenty-eight to hit six does. Six does uh, six damage to the green guy. He's looking. He's looking close to death. Do my owls get to attack? Yes. Yeah, so you if you you get so your I, owl things. I will roll my d8. Just a seven. I don't think so, buddy. Wasn't it two d8 or was it just one d8? Uh, let me double check that. You drop the spell. Sure, got it. Well, I can't move it, so... <laughs> yeah, it's just a 1d8, increased by 1d8. Alright, she is looking extremely rough. He's got two hit points left. <laughs> Alright, so the dragon... So the dragon's up turning, because they use their action and bone... They use their movement and action to just move. Um, Talon, it's her turn. So this... This white dragon... He's going ahead and it's a 60 foot cone. So, and she uh -oh. the dragon. So, the dragon can move. <laughs> How far can he move? He can fly 80 feet. So, let's see yeah, here to so go. It, it can... Let's go here. It's going to hop on the other side. I'm going to hop right on the here side. to aim it. To... Yeah. I'm going to try to, yeah, to get this every way. single one. Let's you can, see. if he, um, if he goes. It. There you go. No, he gets them, everyone. Well, yeah. Also, if he goes here, he would get all of them. And he can shove my wolf out of the way. That's fine. Yeah, if he's right Hip here, he can... Wolf. <laughs> True. Yeah, he would also get this... the other there. So, yeah. yeah, the dragon's going ahead and make a breath weapon. Yeah, because this way it'll get all of them. Oh, look at that. Hmm. All right, so... So if the green uh, guy's green. the green guy's just dead because he wouldn't even yeah. be able to take half that. <laughs> green is dead. Orange. Let's see. Orange. See what happens with him. So orange could survive thirty-two. Oh, orange fails. He takes it all. Orange takes dies. All. Um, <laughs> Celestial Defender. Let's see what he makes. He does make it, so he takes half. But 32. he has no real healing on him, so... And Zephyr... Oh, actually, wait. He watches this Ice Blast, because Zephyr wouldn't be able to take enough, even if he saved. Um, he watches this Ice Blast rings through, and Zephyr goes unconscious for a split second before the Death Ward that he had cast on him shimmers, and he's at one hit point. No. <sighs> He's at one single hit point, Zephyr. And, hey, that's actually a perfect amount for you guys to do any unco unconscious damage. Un Sorry. What's it called? Um, un Unlethal. Whatever it's called. Damage. Non -lethal. Ah, non -lethal. yes. Non-lethal. Non-lethal, yeah. <laughs> and you want the Celestial Defender to take Is he the... prone? Uh, he would be prone, yes. So, so he takes that. The defenders, he's he's not looking. He, he's still a, he's just barely triple digits. Triple digits. Yeah, right. He, I know. He, he was a beastie just... boy. But yeah, Zephyr's at one hit point. Now it's the defender's turn. He he's just gonna go in all in on the on the dragon. He's gonna make his two ready. Yeah, radiant maces, first one, and second one. So oh. both hit the dragon, and they do sizable chunks. 
uh, on the dragon. All right. But that's mostly his turn because he doesn't have any healing hands left. So we can't really heal Zephyr. He's just trying his best to keep him up. Opal, it's your turn. Question, uh, what, hap what happens if I walk in that circle? Uh, it's it's difficult to terrain. Not for me, it's not. Yeah. Um, is that all just difficult terrain? Yeah. From the hailstones. Okay. Uh, I believe if I move close enough, maybe I can just throw my my. I'm gonna go as close as I can. Uh, and if I were to throw my weapon at Saphir, would that be an advantage or a disadvantage? If you throw because it, you can't score. do non-lethal. It'd be non-lethal. I, I, I would say no. You can't. Still... If you throw it, you can't do non-lethal. Really? Uh, Range weapons. Oh, you, My absolutely. weapon's a bit particular. It's, yeah. it's not okay. uh, his okay. is not you throwing it. He's he's levitating it. Okay. It, it's like it's it's like it works like almost like a spiritual weapon, so I just control it in a way that it could be. Okay. Okay. Do you have enough so, range? Well, I thought I could misty step forward thirty feet as a bonus action and then um move a little bit more if I had to and then just throw it enough to like hit him non-lethal damage does that work 45 feet it. plus 30 feet yeah I love that okay um, and if I'm in the storm I don't get the dis disadvantage of attacking it's not a storm anymore it's just the hailstones just, on uh, the ground yeah on the ground yeah okay, but it's not going to cause the weapon to uh, okay. get uh, any disadvantage right that's all one. okay good so I will move about 45 and about 30 feet. So 45 plus uh, 75, 75 feet. Ugh, can't even see it because I'm so far away. Oh, you bastard. I can't even see what 75 feet is. Oh, I know. I've had to shrink the map numerous times. <laughs> sure. Um, so what, how much are you moving? I just want to get right in the middle. Yeah, right there. And then just, and then just chuck it at him. And Go for it. Uh, yeah, and then I'll do a quick roll of non-lethal damage, and I'm just gonna say, sweet dream, sweetheart. And... I will say you do technically get a flanking bonus, um, so you would get a plus, because you got three allies right on the opposite end, you would get a plus, like, I'll say plus four, why not? Plus four, so with advantage of throwing... <laughs> Is this still advantage, it's, right? Cause this is uh, yeah, because you're because you're you're, you're spelling. Yeah, but he's okay. Even though he's, he's the guy's he's, prone, he's he's prone, but it's not a throwing weapon. It's okay. It's a melee. Okay. It's a melee okay. attack. Okay. The the way we set it up, um, he basically can, move, like levitate his um his okay. weapon, so it's kind of like a guiding, uh, think spiritual weapon. Okay. Yeah, very similar. So yeah. plus four that does hit his AC. <laughs> and eight, yeah, you're able to do uncommon. As you watch, as your scythe comes down, and you're about to go for the killing blow, but then you realize, no, 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 wait. And then you flip over this. The the scythe flips over on its own, and then it comes down and knocks if you're unconscious. You still have the defender now left to deal with. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta. I'll be back. I gotta. I got a important phone call. Go for it. Okay. Zephyr is unconscious. He doesn't need to make death saves because you didn't kill him. But he's unconscious right now. Nakia, it's your turn. You just have this big defender guy. Uh, to deal with. Big, bad, bad guy over there. All right, I'm going you to redirect. You can still teleport uh, as a bonus action. Yeah, I'm redirecting feet. my dire wolf to him. Yeah, so he's easily enough. He goes through the body of the knight and he'll just cohere then. And he's going to do his bite. Go for it. Yeah, with pack tactics. Yeah, 23 yeah. does hit and 9. So he's going to make a strength save. I'm sure he'll pass it. 22. He oh, does yeah. pass. But he still takes the 9. So he's no longer in triple digits. That's, that's yeah, good. And he now has disadvantage on all saving throws spells that I Against send his you? way. Yes. Yeah. All right. So now I just gotta figure out what I want to send his way. For that. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No, no, that would just be too weird. Uh... Okay, um... I hate trying to figure this stuff out sometimes. Oh, this is perfect. We're going to probably uh, we'll do it anyway. We're gonna throw a mind spike at him. Gotta do a wisdom save at disadvantage. Advantage wisdom save. It's a fail. <laughs> and he fails! Ooh. 14 damage on him. Yeah, you're slowly willing him down. Yeah, let's see. The target. Save and go. Da, 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 da. On a fail, you also know where the target's location until the end of the turn. But also. Alright, Yasmin, it's your turn up next. You didn't hide, so you won't get advantage, but you will still get sneak attack. <laughs> he can't hide from me, ever. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be... Okay, 30 feet brings me here opposite the dog. So you get a plus three. <clears throat> All right. Rapier and dagger. Does, hits. They both hit. You okay. get sneak attack also. Sneak attack. Yes. And then I am going to... Okay, he's looking really well. 30. <laughs> 45. I'm going to duck back into the trees and hide behind, attempt to hide behind a tree. With bonus yeah, action. Go for hide. it. Um, bonus. Well, it wasn't your dagger attack through your bonus action? Oh, it was. Yes. Never mind. Talon, as the white dragon comes along, uh, let's see if she regains her breath. Why not? Um, not that she'll need it. No, she doesn't. Uh, so she's going to make. Um, a bite and two claws. So the bite. Well, she's gonna she's gonna move here, so she gets plus uh, plus three, so 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 is his armor class, so it hits. So that's twenty six plus four. Ooh, that's she's she's fucking close. One more hit, then it's gonna do it. Um, claw. Definitely hits. So you watch as Nakia, you you send out this mind sliver, and it, 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 even though it doesn't have like a face, you can see as its hands reach towards its head. Yasmin, you come up and you do a quick stab with your rapier and another one with a dagger. Opal, as, uh, as you're just finishing off uh, Zephyr with the scythe, you look and turn, and all you see is this white dragon. <laughs> Its claws go right through the Celestial Defender, and you see the Defender almost go limp for a second, and then vanish in Radiant Smoke. Hey, um... And you guys have successfully finished this combat. Oh, that and you guys lovely. are left with an unconscious Zephyr down at your feet. Um, what would you guys like to do? Uh, I'd like to bind him and strip him of all his his goodies. <laughs> Especially oh, yeah. any holy symbol or focus or anything like that, too. Especially oh, that. Yeah, yeah we're just yeah. probably his weapon. As a paladin, it's probably his weapon. <laughs> Gag him, basically, so he can't say any verbal things. Make sure he can't use any semitic things with his hands, any spell components, anything that spell focus. It's like, nope, 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 nope. 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 <laughs> Sure. Yeah, easily enough, you're able to um, grab most of his spell stuffs, and um, you're able to. You see, as um, he, his symbol is a uh, symbol of the Raven Queen, and you you try to take it off, but it seems almost it's really difficult to take off. It's um, it's sort of magically attuned to him. And it's Tuned, or is it is it connected to his flesh? Because that's not a problem for Opal. She will surgically take it off with her torture tools. It's not. No, it's not to his oh, flesh. Oh, that's too bad. It's not to his flesh. <laughs> you were hoping to use those. 
literally you see like this like little like tool bag just roll out with all these little tools and knives i'm like but yeah you're able to strip him from spell components and he's essentially unable to cast any spells or do anything because he you take away his mace that he has into his side um, his, we're the going armor, to find his mouth closed and his eyes closed. We're going to the blindfold armor, him. Um, sure. The armor itself, um, the armor, the armor itself is not able to come off. It's uh, you can tell that this, this is mad. This armor, yeah, you're unable to take it off. But yeah, you're able to successfully bind his hands and um, make him unable to speak. And, uh, yeah, blind his eyes. Easy enough. And you guys I begin. roll my carpet out and roll him on it and say, <laughs> Okay, now what? <laughs> Mel, don't we have to go back to... Awesome Where did we say we were going to meet with him? Um, he said to meet back there at the inn. You don't suppose it's another trap because I can't deal... <sighs> Yes, it's another trap. Of course, it's another trap. It's a, a, this one this was not a trap. Deals I will with say my this. Father. This one was. Uh, this one was. This one was not a trap. This was just you guys being ill prepared. <gasps> also, just very shitty rolls. Yeah, that too. You would have got him on the first turn. Um, I'm just so, yeah. so angry. Just bad luck. That's all. Well, let's. My I, I put my hand. I put my hand up, and my it's scythe almost, just levitates, like just like zoop back into my hand. It's almost as if fate wanted you guys to continue the battle on for longer, almost for entertainment purposes. Almost, Change. yes. What mm -hmm. sick? What sick? Oh, omnipotent God wants to watch us do this. And you watch this them. guy. You watch this. Most the of them. The white dragon. Shifts and transforms back into Talon. She says, "Wow, well, um, I didn't realize I could do that. I think it's, I think it's got something to do with the crater over there, amplifying even my wild shapes." Well, you're looking It's you pretty better. cool, I gotta say. Do you think there's any magical item that could is in there that it could amplify our magic? What do you mean? Well, uh, it amplified your spells, so I'm saying, what is, whatever's in there, can we take it with us? Oh, yes. You guys do remember that um, when you looked into the crater, there was, through your arcane eye, which was amplified, it's not, there's nothing physical, it's just a fragment that's left in the ethereal plane. Uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, because the fairy yeah. fire didn't illuminate it, for example. Uh, how long was this battle, by the way? It, honestly, it, it only rounds? took you guys around like 30 seconds. 36 seconds, I would say. Okay. Uh, reason being is like, I wanted to, to see if I can talk to like another tree and to see if like, if they still need help. Hmm. Probably because I think the artifact was their problem, not this guy. No. And not the you, thing that we and not the thing that we brought with us. Mm -mm. Uh, you got the sense that, yeah, they were talking about the crater and whatever's inside is magically affecting the forest around. Okay, so uh, ethereally, can we remove it? Hmm. Uh, Talwin sees you contemplating this and sees it says, you know, to be honest, it's, I don't think it's our job to do that. I think we're here for him. I think we should just get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. Well, I'm just saying the nice tree was nice was nice enough to give us a hot tip and help us out. The least we can do is remove this. Besides, it could be a very powerful item for us. If it indeed what it just did to you. I mean if you got any ideas, let's go ahead, but I I've got nothing that could really help with that. Okay, we'll just me. roll play this a bit, Bill, and then you just tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna like kind of like look deep into my my past and my previous lives almost and just think if like if there was anything or if I've seen anything like this and just kind of like wonder it's like have I encountered this or what can I do to remove this 
Um, you look down into the hole and make a history check. Okay, well, it's not going to be good, but we'll see. I wish I had put more on history on this thing. Where are you, history? Come on. Where are you? Go alphabetical. Nineteen. Good roll, good roll. Um, you look down into this crater and while you haven't seen anything like it before, you're 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 putting together a bit of pieces. This this is a fragment of a much powerful a much more powerful item and it's in a different plane and it's still managing to have all these effects you gather that it must be something really 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 powerful maybe akin to something crafted by a god do you think your mother would be interested in something like this my mother but I, yes. I tell all that. But me? Definitely. <laughs> well, it is definitely her taste. She has an insatiable appetite for power. Yes, yeah. she does. I don't know how we'd get it, though. I'm sitting here looking down at it, and it's like there, there's nothing there to grab. Did, what, were, what were some of the magical items you guys stole? Uh, you got a rod and a ring, but you guys are unsure what they do. Not yet. You haven't you haven't taken the time to sh attune to them, and you also or haven't identify. taken the time to identify them yet. Well, maybe we can come back to this. Um, I mean, tree... I can't even see the thing, much less pick it up. When the tree was, ref <clears throat> if we want, maybe we just take a small rest here, and then just carry on. I don't it's think we you. should in the glade. I think we should get away from this. I just want to ask, did the tree refer um, the guardian? Uh, was it Zephyr? No. You, Because you guys summoned Zephyr. You guys Yeah, he yourselves, wasn't there until we summoned him. He was in a different plane of existence, and you guys summoned him in. Okay. Well, sorry. The ominous music says otherwise that we're, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't ominous. <laughs> this is That's my uplifting awesome. track. Sorry, uplifting music is what I meant. It's like, so, okay, well, there's still a guardian of the forest that I don't really want to encounter. So, that's another good point. We should get out of here. What are you going to do with that pyramid anchor thing? I'm looking at at um, Takia. Nakia, sorry. Nakia. Um, well, we're done with it. At least for what he needed, correct? Correct. <laughs> then it can just go in the bag and he'll never have to know that we still have it. It or... wouldn't fit in your bag before. Remember, we had, that's, that's why we had true. it on the carpet. Um, but it's so powerful. I hate losing anything powerful. Can we hide it? Maybe come back for it. You know how my mother wants everything powerful to be hers. So. Sure, we can we can put it over here. We can put it like over here, and I can do some camouflage for it. I think if it I'm pretty good at that. that. Yeah, <laughs> easily enough. I can um, camouflage it. That's in my skill set. Easily enough, you you take the pyramid and you you place it in the because uh, uh, you know when you enter in thing uh, into this glade, everyone's first attention is going to be on that crater. So you put it in the perfect spot to where it's barely even going to be looked at, let alone if someone's <coughs> searching. Right. They're, they're, it's it's going to be super well hidden. You think that you get it very well, and um, I have it, you know, well camouflaged with brush and, and things. Mm -hmm. You take a step back and you almost lose track of where you put it, honestly. But then you remember, oh, yeah, it's right there. Mark it in your mental mind. My mother will want this. And she'll even give you a reward, I'm sure. I yeah, could go for a reward. Anybody specialize in cartography here? Mm. I 
Well, can I use a survival check to kind of like make a mental map? I don't know. Uh, um, this of where it crater? is? Oh, I can tell you where this is, and I can tell you where it, where the, the the pyramid is. The crater you only got here through um through the aid of the tree, mm. or else the the force itself was a bit too confusing and dizzying. You would not. You guys do not know the path you guys got to get here. I could talk to the trees and just ask them. Like, does it only work for one plant? Talk to trees? Or is that still active on the one tree? No, once it's a concentration spell, I think. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, and so actually, we got, that. I mean, as we got fairly near, all the casters were detecting the effects of it and they could follow that. I don't think it would Talon, be a problem to get back here. Talon comes up to uh, one of the trees and she's actually going to speak, uh, cast speak with plants. And you see as she converses with the with one of the trees, um, and then she she turns and looks back to you guys. Um, the, tr the tree knows a bit of a way out, but uh, it seems like we're running out of time. We really should leave now. Um, apparently, yes. the the elder, as this guy is calling it, is really not enjoying their presence here. Tell. And I hop on my carpet and say, lead the way. Uh, and I just tell them, tell <laughs> the trees that will come back and remove this from sapping your mag, sapping your life force. And she, she does a quick nod and um, she, she starts conversing with the tree. This, this tree seems to, this, this tree seems to really enjoy it, actually, that we're going to be helping out. He says the elder is going to be a bit harder to convince, though. Okay. Unless... He, the elder kind of needs action instead of words. We understand. Spread it to the other trees and plants, and that we will come back eventually to re remove this. Hopefully, the bat yes. will get attention. And you guys start making your way with Zephyr, traversing out of the forest. I'm gonna need um, uh, just a quick survival check. One, someone can do it at advantage, or just one person, or. or Oh, Yasmin. Not already never mind. Okay, Not so me. Yasmin, you find a perfect place to camp, and uh, you guys get through the night. No trouble. Oh, we get a long rest. And you you oh. realize as you're making your way out of this, it only took you. It didn't take you too long. It didn't take you too long to get out. Uh, to mean to get in, but now as you're trying to exit this forest. It seems to be going on for a lot longer. And even with your survival check, you know that this is not natural. There is some enchantment to this force that's making the force longer to leave. So, but you do manage to find a quiet place to rest and you guys get your long rest without problem. No issues whatsoever. You don't even need to roll uh, uh, perception checks throughout the night because you guys are so well uh, camped. Perfect. Plus, maybe the trees are helping us out a little bit. Perhaps. And you guys start going for the for the next day, and you guys are um, after like maybe one of you guys could converse with plants. Uh, Talon probably would. Uh, you guys are actually getting close within the day. You uh, within the like not this day, but the beginning of the next day. You guys would probably leave the forest. So you guys. Quick question to. Uh... Mm -hmm. Princess Nakia, did you yes. use any any spells in your ring? No, I did not. Okay, never mind. Otherwise, I was gonna like give you a spell if you wanted. So, I so you, you guys, um, you guys start making your way uh, for the second day, and I'm gonna need a D20, just a straight D10 roll through uh, as you guys travel for this day. I will take the first one. Uh, Fourteen. Huh. Okay. As you guys make your way, it's actually clear skies and a nice path. You you rolled you rolled well for the fourteen because it's not like oh twenty is the best. It's I have um, I have set things depending on what you roll. Sixteen. Be glad I'm not taking the sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys camp up for the night. I'll need another survival check for the camp. Uh, do we camp again. Uh, yes, because it, it gets took us less than a day to get there, and it's taking us more yeah. than a day back. All right. Mm -hmm. Didn't I, I just I just said that it was it's 
you, as you spoke to the trees and with the 31 survival, you know, it's magically enchanted. So okay. leaving, taking longer than it is to get into the forest. 28. Uh, you find a place um, along uh, along like this uh, riverside as it cuts through the forest and you get a pretty good high vantage point so you're able to see everything gets gets through. Not quite a natural 20, so I'm still going to need you guys to roll perceptions to the night. See if you make anything, but you seem pretty confident that if anything does come up, you'll see it. So the first perception, because right, we'll have three watches. The first perception, 16. All right, nothing nothing seems uh, to be amiss for the first one. I'm going to need someone to take the second watch. 18. That's a low roll, too. That's a low roll? Jesus. For me, yeah, because... I, yeah, plus 13. 13. <laughs> yeah. My perception is plus zero, so let's see. <laughs> ah, you did better yeah. than me. I've been teen. Perfect <laughs> perceptions, actually. So, um, Anakia, as it's getting close to the end of the long rest, um, mm. yeah, as it's getting close to the end of the long rest, uh, you start to look out and you look down at by the river and there's a, there's a little makeshift bridge, actually. Um, it's, it appears to be man-made, so there's hope that uh you're close to the you're close to the end of this forest because um the further deeper in the forest you went the less the the more naturey it looks if that makes sense and you start to look out and you see across the bridge almost these figures coming up they're trying to stealth but you notice that they do not stealth too well Mm -hmm. You see, as these figures start to approach. I'm assuming I will... that I see it too? Uh, yes. Uh, well, actually, no. It's mm -hmm. Nakia's. It's It would be Nakia's. Is thing. this so pre-dawn? She's the only one. Away. I am going to alert everyone of... Well, what happened to the very... 18 I rolled? But it was a different oh, no, watch. No, no, no. It, it was, was a, a different, different watch. watch. Okay, and never mind. You, you can see, watch, sorry, you can see yes. these figures start to appear. You can see one that uh, uh, appears to be. Uh, oh, what, what do they look like again? You said three of them? Yes, three of them. No, sorry, um, four of them. Sorry, I've completed. I'm kind part. of staying in the shadows, kind of that ghosty, shadowy thing, and I'm waking everyone up from one shadow to the next going wake up someone's coming wake up wake up <laughs> oh actually, actually i get advantage i get advantage i'll do it again oh it's same thing <laughs> i'm just a devon 18 on that do you guys um just quick question do you guys see any colored things on the map i see a colored fire i see this tent is red and this tent okay, is green but no like purple and blue okay because no, i was testing my gm layer <gasps> yeah we only oh, see the glowing sorry. fire and you watch as these these figures they come and over the bridge and they didn't roll too high on their stealth so you guys notice as they approach okay and, and i um, austin, stealth into the tree austin if you like to describe your character as they start to approach oh. well from the trees you see a <laughs> little deer like lady on the back of a a golden chariot being pulled by a griffin and she seems to be on the lookout, looking for something, trying to find tracks, but her companions are not the quietest. And Ren, if you'd like to describe your character. Indeed. For in the front of the group, you see a man carrying a staff, brushing the snow out of his way. Metal armor adorns his body as he sweeps himself forward. Yelling and loudly that all can hear. And you see come behind out, him. Out. <laughs> and you uh, see behind the, this character, um, he looks um, very ostentatious and he kind of looks full of himself as he's walking. And you see beside them this uh, paladin like figure as they start to cross the bridge. You guys make eye contact. Is uh, anything 
anyone wants to do. Can I have been in this tree? Uh, no, you would have been. Yeah, you could have slept in the tree, sure. Okay. Uh, with my owl, and I guess I'll just wake up sipping my tea with my owl, like uh, just like in the picture. If you'd like to uh, show, you, it. you would be asleep, but then she wakes you up. Yeah, wakes up. Ah, uh, morning tea. And just ignoring them, like like they're not even there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Yasmin uh, and Nakia, you you guys notice these figures approaching. There's it's starting to cross the bridge. They have weapons drawn and. They look like they're um, pretty hostile. Looking for us? Yes. <laughs> and I guess with that, I could turn up the turn order as you guys aren't surprised as these guys come because they rolled shit for their stealth. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm going to initiative as I set up. Um, so I set up some combat music. I'm going to go. I'm going to say to them, who are you? <laughs> Unfortunately, David and uh, Jeremy weren't able to make it for tonight, but um, I'm hoping this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Please roll good one. Uh, 11's not bad. I'm going to roll it's for Gilbert. And you see as you uh, people see each other, uh, Tawin you see as she shifts and transforms and she goes into like this polar bear state and you see um Ibos sees her and she's like and he's like i've got that one and you see as they start to make their way and they start battling this is my way of getting rid of two characters um and Ibo and Tawin uh, go off in the trees and start battling themselves <sighs> How oh, nice. Split the party already. You should have so many rolls. There you go. I think that's every one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh we're just missing uh we're just missing you, uh Sam. Oh, Sam's the owl. Sam's the owl. Sam's the owl? Okay. We'll just, yeah, we're going. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. All right, we'll put it in descending order. And as you guys approach Yasmin, you, you notice them first. Actually, Yasmin and Nakia, you're up first as these guys are approaching. <sighs> Clearly hostile. Clearly. Clearly hostile. Did I get that the stealth you... after being awoken and before this? Um, I would say roll a stealth, but be it would be at disadvantage. Because they Disney. were aware of your, it, they were aware of your 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 tent and your presence. Well, so oh, straight I roll, actually. Straight roll. well, we'll, go well so when I rolled, so when I rolled my 18s before, that does not count, and I need to re-roll. Oh, the, no, the 18s would count. So yeah, you keep the 18. Okay. Sorry about that. So I was stealth in advance. You were. I am going to. I'm discovering the ambush stuff doesn't work when we start with people so far away. How how steep That's is that about drop? The, the cliff um, to there? It's about twenty feet. To the river itself, it's twenty five. Okay. So that is actually they would actually have to go around. Okay, I am going to, with 18s, I am going to, and I am going to, so that is... An action or a? Hang on, I gotta find out if that's an action or a bonus action. What do you think it is? 
the polymorph, I think, is an action. It's an action. Polymorph is an action, yes. So as you transform into a bat, um, with their passive perceptions, they would not see 18. Actually, let me just double check. What's your, what's Ren and um, Austin, what's your passive perception? 21. 21. So yeah, you would see this bat. Um, you would see her even when she was stealth, quote unquote. And you would see as she transforms into this bat. Yeah, for me, it's only 16. So yeah, you unfortunately would not know this. Okay. So you fly over there. I'm over there. And that will be my... Oh, actually, if that's going to be my turn, I can bonus action dash. You good? I'm above the cliff over here. Got it. Nakia, you're up next. Uh, yes. I'm looking at these people and they're just I'm looking at this person at the at the bridge what does he look like I can't get a good look he's wearing... not the pal he's not the paladin is he no he's not the paladin went off he oh, go good. ahead red I'm saying the man on the bridge appears to be in half plate, muscular, and combat oriented. Ooh. Too bad you just don't like me. She is going to. Actually, ooh, hang on. Did you run away too fast? Oh, he did. Dang it. Mm. All right, well, while you guys are way, way, way away from me, I'm going to... Sit an insect plague on top of you. 300 feet. So, uh, what would you like to, uh, how much is it? 24 radius. So, you'd 24? be able to get. Um, I think most of them, if not all of them. Ava, would you be close by to them, or you, did you say you were flying up uh, back a ways? No, she's where she is. All right, so then it would actually hit everyone, and unfortunately, it, it technically. I'm would still hit. flying. She's up high. I'm still up in the air. Radius. Above the cliff. Yeah, you would be you'd be twenty feet up. And so Pythag I don't think you'd be hit. Mm. Would you? No. And the sphere is difficult terrain. Difficult terrain. So I'm gonna need um all, all both of you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, we'll make one for Gilderoy. Uh, Ren and uh, Austin. Ava and Darth. Okay, that was a 20 foot radius? It was yes. a 20 foot radius. Ooh, bad for a two kids. and a one. We we're <laughs> off to a really good start. <laughs> Please say Ava got a 20. So, uh, so, yeah, it's 23 piercing damage. Um, or half as much on a success, successful one. You guys did get a round of prep, so Darth, I would say you are raging right now, if you want it to be. Yes, that would be preferable. So yes, you would only take half that. And you said difficult and... terrain? Yes. yes, difficult terrain. So Pablo takes right. that amount. Oof, not good for him. It's a concentration of oh, 10 minutes. I can, uh, as long as I keep the spell, it's... Ten minutes. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep track of this one. Mm. All right, that's that. Um, or if it ends their turn, there. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was your action. Do you have anything for bonus? 
Oh, um, as you cast this, I'm going to need a D100 also from you. Another D100? Really? Yes. Oh. Fifth level spells and higher. Is this a fifth level spell? Yeah. It is. Oh, come on. Let me roll. Darth, you're up next. Very well. There it goes. <laughs> now it's That's letting me roll. A six. A six. Um, <laughs> oh. Um, so you watch as in the surrounding area of you, this plant growth seems to come up and starts to snare up at your feet. The spell I... plant growth has been cast around you for ten feet. Alright. So I'm that's going, going to um, bonus action. Let's yeah, see. it just becomes thick and overgrown. Um, oh, you must spend four feet of movement for every one foot you do. I'm just going to shadow step up onto this mountainside and actually cling to the mountain. Sure, how far can you shadow step? Uh, 120 feet. Yeah, then no problem. You yeah, get up and there. I'm like up, stuck halfway up the mountain. So I'll got wait. it. I would say you're <laughs> around like thirty feet up. Yeah. All right, Darth, it's your turn. As um, one of them, just you don't even know of, and uh, one of them casts a spell on you, and starts to just shadow step. You watch as she just vanishes and reappears further up the mountain. You can see another one of them is in the tree over here. What would you like to do? Very well. About how tall is the the cliff right here? Uh, we, uh 20, 20, 20 feet. Very well. So forty feet of movement cost me ten to go there, thirty more to cross the bridge, and then he will look up at the the creatures up in the tree and say, "At last." A challenge as he lifts the hand and rays of darkness begin to fly <laughs> at last dinner i'm like <laughs> um let's see um i'm going to use a reaction to absorb it oh uh what, what are you what are you no, using it's only elemental your... It's only elemental. It's only elemental. Yeah, this so, would be four. Uh, I'm just going to use my resistance. Sure. So I will resist and teleport 30 feet for forward. Actually, right about here is good. So, yeah. 20 feet, actually. Go. I like games. <laughs> so the 14 hits, yes? Yes. No. Yes. Damage. 14 would hit. 14 to hit would hit, yes. So, rolling for damage, seems like it didn't... Oh, uh, no, it wouldn't. Damage. It wouldn't? If I, I have a... Two uh, armor class again? It's 15. 15. Uh, keep in mind, this is about your blood stuff going on, right? Uh, yeah, like, uh, it becomes... Uh, when I have half damage, like, when I take half of my damage to take, and I take an additional eight, 1 plus AC. So it's at 15. So actually, the first Eldritch Blast misses, so you wouldn't be able to teleport. Okay, never mind. Sorry. So as you shoot that Eldritch Blast, it hits the side of the tree, no impact. Do you have any more, or how many Warlock? Oh, one Warlock, right? Uh, Well, it's still a cantrip, so at level 14, I should have three beams. Yeah. So oh. That's throw them at me. Good. Here we go. That one that okay. definitely hit. 25 does hit. <laughs> Now they can teleport. And, and the 15 <laughs> does it. So for the first one, you're going to do your resistance, so you can only take half damage. And what? then uh, the second one, go. Eldritch uh, Blast is force damage. Is it resistant to all forms? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very well. It's uh, once, It's I think it's once per turn. Or not once per turn, but like a certain, once per certain amount of times they can resist uh, damage type. So yeah, you would take, uh, roll your 2d10s, by the way. Mm -hmm. Just because it wasn't rolling. So for the first one, you're only going to take 
through uh, two because it's rounded down, but the first second one you're going to take the full one. So yep. you take three points of damage and you go down there to, next to uh, took six points of damage. Gotcha. All right. Um, Ayobi, Eva, it's your turn. As this, as almost like as this um well insect plague has hit you, what would you like to do? Yeah, and we're... you do notice the bat that it's coming. Yeah, uh, she will kind of call out uh, to Gilderoy and point out the bat and where it is. Um, but uh, not wanting to stay in this, uh, within this uh, insect plague, she is going to kind of pull on the reins and have the, the griffin lift him up out into the air. And we'll go about, let's see, how far do we need to go? Where... Yeah, we'll go about 30 feet up into the air and over towards about here as we'll fly up and out. And she will go ahead and look at the person who had uh, cast this hanging perilously onto the cliff. And well, that wasn't very nice. I think you need to sit in time out for a little while. And she will toss over a colorful pattern in her direction. At me, we. At me, At Nakia. Nakia, I'm going to need your wisdom save for me. Yeah, yeah, so wisdom save. Thank you. I hate wisdom save. Oh, let me pick that. With an eight. <laughs> you watch as this colorful pattern goes around uh, at you, and you can't just help but just stare at it. You are charmed up there, and you are unable to do anything. That's right. Look at the pretty lights. But that's concentration, so as long as that. Ava holds it. Does that then, break my concentration on the bugs? Um, no, your concentration would still be up. Okay. Oh, I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. the my shield—it's a reaction. It it puts up a magical barrier. Uh, that would not affect this, no. Okay, I was wondering. Well, a creature that is incapacitated is unable to concentrate on spells. So. Oh really? Is so. I would we'll lose my concentration. Uh, incapacitated? No, inc an incapacitated creature cannot take actions or reactions. I mean, that's what uh, at least that's what Rule Twenty says. Because I'm thinking, um, she's staring up at the lights, and so she's not like she's kind of dazed, but she still maintains con like it's still there the concentration. I'm thinking. Oh yeah, that's. Paralyzed. I think. I think that's um, unconscious. You're thinking of maybe. I don't think anything actually specifies you losing, but I don't know. I'll leave it up to your roll. I'm good with that. I would I'm say she's it, still able to <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Opal at slash knock this. It's your turn. Uh, I look at the. Is this a paladin who who attacked me? No, the paladin went off. Uh, this guy looks uh, beefy, bulky, and ready to hit something. Ah, I see. Okay. Can you hold on a second? I'm like, and I, I summon eight sprites to the field. Oh, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> we'll use Noctis token uh, we'll for this. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and counterspell that. Ooh, are you within sixty feet? I think you are. You we are. Um, what's the what's the sprite? Uh, Opal. What, what? what spell? What spell level was it? Uh, it'd be level four. All right. So I need a. Uh... Let me just cast the spell. With a 26? Yeah, I think do. So, Opal, you go to cast you're in some of these sprites, and you watch as um, the, the the one riding the chariot does... Um, what, what do you do to counter the spell? Oh, no, that wouldn't be very fair to bring in extra help. And she'll just kind of push the sprites back into their plane, which they're summoned. And yeah, as these sprites are about to come out, they unfortunately do not, as your spell has been countered. Hmm, I see. I see. Well, you do, you lose the fourth level spot. No, I know that. I know that. Hold on. Hmm, I see. Give me a second. Uh, in that case, <laughs> I will bonus reaction 30 feet misty step um, towards you. So... Are you Sorry. still in the air, or are you... Yes, she is 30 feet in the air. 
No, you know what I'll do? I'm going to vanish as a bonus reaction, so I'm going to run away like, come catch me! Uh, and then I will vanish as a bonus reaction. A bonus action, you mean? Yes, to vanish. To vanish. Are you going to have Noctis do anything, or are they just going to stay Noctis will join the princess, and like, just kind of be on your head and just hooting and hooting and panicking. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Cover my ass! Just wake me up. <laughs> say, I would say, um, 10, 15, 15, 15. Noctis does have an action if you want to use that for anything. Uh, I just want a good perception to kind of like to see if I can figure out anything about these guys. Uh, we'll sure. just roll my stealth first and then I'll roll Noctis on like advantage because of his keen sight. Um, how wait, uh, for a second, you so you use vanish, which just makes you invisible, right? Or allows you to hide? No, it allows you to hide, uh, and you just roll for your stealth. And uh, you wouldn't be able to climb up there, actually, Why unless not? you make an athletics check because it's a twenty, it's a twenty foot cliff. What's the terrain? Uh, it's a cliff. Okay, but what's the terrain? Is it mountain? Is it forest? Yeah, a cliff uh, isn't. We'd, we'd that's not forest. difficult terrain. It's, that's it's climbing. Not difficult terrain. It's just climbing. Okay, then I will do that quickly, or I'll go around it because I can move forty five feet. Yeah, then you could do that. Okay, I'll just do that and roll a stealth. Go for it. Give me a second. Eh. Uh, not too well hitting. The rest of you can see where they've hit. So you went. So That's you wait. Okay. You originally, you wouldn't be able to make it there. Uh, what? with forty-five feet, you'd have to go around here, and then you could be able to make it up there. Oh, I thought this was a staircase. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So I guess I'll just hide behind the rocks. Sure. Yeah, you can hide behind this rock if you like. Yeah. Yeah. So as you attempt to hide, there you go. Um, it's Gilderoy's turn. He took damage. He's going to want to get out of there. Heads so... up. Uh, rules for uh, concentration on spells. Spells are dropped if you're incapacitated or killed. Part of the oh. rules of concentration. Then, yes, then I'll drop it. I don't know. I was... I didn't realize that. Locked, um... And Ava did point out the bat to Gilderoy. Ava did pull out the bat. Okay, now that he's no longer got the threat, he's going to look behind and see the bat that's been pointed out to him. And he's going to head and cast... Um... What would be good to cast? On... No, that's, that's a single thing. You know what? He's going to cast... I'm still Man. covered, so I get some. I do get some cover, I believe, because I'm behind the rock. Uh, yes. Uh, but you you rolled your stealth, which was thirteen. Yes, but cover is a totally different thing. Like I believe I get a little bit of an additional AC because I'm behind a rock. Yep. Hey, if yeah, if anyone makes a range attack, half, yeah. Or... Mm -hmm. If anyone makes a range attack on you, you got it. Uh, so he's gonna cast negative energy flood on the bat. Dang it! What does that do? Not good. Ugh. Ooh. Holy shit! Ooh. I rolled really good on that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I didn't know I could do that. To say that as the DM. I am going to. Uh, that will kill the bat and polymorph me back. So I have not drawn my weapons yet, so I am going to glide down rather than fall. Wait a sec, how the fuck does he have this much AC? <laughs> I gotta no. check out his stuff afterwards. He's got a 26 AC, but plus, what, what he rolled on a magic wild magic table, he gets a plus 2 to his AT, so he's got a 28. <laughs> oh, sorry, what? What? Yeah, he rolled a what? 51 on the wild magic and... That gives him a plus two to AC. No, oh yeah, I, no, I think that's probably that's probably with shield, I would imagine. Um, no, oh, but Blade, yeah, he might have Song, Blade Song also boosts your AC a lot. How do you activate? Okay, yeah, it it does a plus six for Blade Song. It's a bonus. bonus. It's a bonus. So action. he would use his bonus action to do that. Yep. So I'm gonna get con save from the bat or um, from the. It doesn't matter. That's enough to kill the bat. So I am the quickly grasping. Through, I think. Yeah, the extra damage would go through. 
Oh, okay. I think the bat has like one hit point. So I do need to make a con save then. Let's see if I can... Uh, con save, con save, con save, con save, con save. I know what my sheet. Oops, I don't have advantage and 11 isn't enough anyway. So I take the 42, except I evade it. I don't think you can evade con saves. It's only deck saves that you're able to. But you're, oh, I think you're right. You are able to... Uncanny dodge, dodge it. it. Have damage. It's have damage from a scene attacker. I saw the attacker. It doesn't. I don't think Uncanny Dodge says anything about decks. Let's see. Let me double check. When an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, this doesn't an attack, count as an yeah. attack. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. I take it. <laughs> you take yuck. it. Yuck! And yuck! Yeah. Yuck! So yeah, you're up on that cliff, and he just does that, and that's his turn. The bonus action he activates his blade saw. All right. Um, at the top of the initiative count, you watch as. These um, these vines start to come out from the ground, and out of nowhere, the bridge starts to collapse, and these vines wrap around, and it just brings it into the water. And she watches as the bridge is now collapsed, as these seemingly out of nowhere, these vines came in and just decimated it. So there's no more bridge. Yasmin. It's your turn. All right. So. I am. I don't like this at all. Where is that? Un, where Where is our captive? Uh, Zephyr would be in one of the tents. Okay. So I am going to grasping the edges of my cloak. I am going to, I have a fly speed of 50, and I am going to, I'll assume he's in the big one, because we would have had a guard with him, and I am going to grab him and start dragging him away, because I assume they are coming to rescue him. So, okay, so you moved... So I moved to 95, moved and uh, when I'm not flying, I have a movement speed of also of 50. So I'm going to move him another 25 feet away. I'm going to start pulling him 25 feet away. Shit, sure. Yeah, and you didn't get in range of any of the anyone, nope. so you didn't take any opportunity uh, attacks. Yeah, and so yeah, you pull Zephyr away. Uh, we'll add his token, but he's unconscious right now. Cool. So I'm dragging him. Uh, let's let's do the little cool rotation thing. To... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Zephyr is unconscious. Okay, that's my turn. And everybody could see me doing that gliding with, because I wasn't even a bad at that point. I was just gliding with my cloak. Um, by the way, what did what did I get with the twenty? By the way, with uh, Noctis, my owl. Um, you're able to see everyone on the map. Good. And Couldn't also, take me or something. He he could have uh, if if Sam said to. I know. That's, what, that's why I asked him what what was he gonna uh, do with his action. Dawn, it didn't dawn yeah. on me because I didn't know you were asleep. I thought it was something else that was on you, so that's my fault. Sorry. It's all right. It just means I'm still. Yeah. So not for doing this anything. turn, you're incapacitated. That's the end yeah. of your turn. Yeah. I have to wait um, for something out external to wake me up. Or the the caster to lose concentration. Yeah. All right, Darth. You have, um, despite the the hidden, uh, this this little child. Now that you see, surrounded by owls, uh, has uh, is right in front of you. Ah, a member of the Parliament. He appears dangerous. I shall deal with him. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm a girl. It's like I'm not. Two voices seem to be speaking. <laughs> well, as, um, the man with the staff gets in range. He will swing it down at you three times. Twice with the front end and once with the butt. I'll resist the other one and teleport 30 feet. Taking half damage. 
so. on the first attack that you actually hit me with. Uh, okay, that's definitely a hit. That's okay. half damage. I'm assuming roll, round it up. And I was then smooth. there's also been the Rage and Divine Fury Radiant added on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's just the first attack, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. And so I... it's going to be half to... You take 13 damage and you're able to teleport your 30 feet. Yep. Okay, so let's add that all together. It's just 13 damage? Okay. Mm -hmm. That was already halved. Why can't I... Oh, that's why. Um, let me just decide where to go. Probably about... Here's a good spot, yeah. Alright. And I just, as as you hit me, this dispersive owls hit me, and I just kind of like giggle laughter, like, mm -hmm. come get me. Yeah. Um, Dark, do you see as you go for this first hit, the owls seem to take the hit for her because she's surrounded by all these owls. And then you watch as the owls pick her up, and she almost like instantly goes to a different location. You what still have your you, movement. What is this? You do not wish for glorious combat? <sighs> what shame. That's the, that sounds boring. Another voice says, like, been there, done that. <laughs> if you have not yet died, you have not yet feasted on glorious combat, and I, I seek it. If that's what you wish. Um, I don't know. Let's just do it. Let's and that's it. Than... Unless you have anything for bonus, Dorth? No, that's it. Alright, then, Ava, it's your turn. Alrighty. Um... Yeah, she kind of saw the flight across the field. Um, and we're not just gonna let her escape that easy. Um, so and you could also she... see as she's dragging your uh, the person you're supposed to rescue is a fear horse. <laughs> yep. So we're gonna go ahead and fly <laughs> over towards the other side and just uh, as we're coming up, uh, still kind of thirty feet above, um, she's just going to begin to play onto this concertina as this mystical music comes out. Oh, I don't like when you move that fast. Why don't you try dancing that fast instead? As uh, Yasmin will begin to dance. No, hey, no. and it's a concentration, so you drop mine. Yep. Oh, yeah, so Nakia's back up. And uh, I'll need a D100 from you, uh, Ava, as you cast this six level spell. Let's see. Yeah. And I'm dancing now, and then as an action, I have to make a saving throw. To, ugh. Okay. And as she then kind of uh, kicks into Jerax, Jerax will dive down and with claws out, go ahead and make attacks onto uh, this lady at advantage due to the dancing. Ugh. Oh, look at that. No, Ugh. This one you are able to, um, unless you no longer have your reaction, but I still think you do. So you are able to uncanny dodge. So if you want to, you can say. I do reaction. have a reaction still, but. Um... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I'll uncanny yeah. dodge that. My... So then you'll only take the seven from the beak as this uh, as this creature comes down and just pecks at you with the beak. Actually, and... no, I, I don't. I take the whole thing. All right. So you're going to take the, the 14 and the 13. So you take 20 points of damage. Ugh. And then she will just kind of land right beside and then once again just begin to kind of channel energy and... And uh, just to make sure you don't try anything funny, you are your friends. And we'll go ahead and put a sanctuary on herself. Unfortunately, Bonus. as you go to cast that sanctuary, you feel as if you don't have enough uh, time to cast it. Ooh. All spells now uh, for you. Um, because you rolled the... What did you roll again? A 27? Uh, spells cost an additional bonus round cast time. Bonus action cast time? Yes. Okay. So, and it 
Um, okay. Any bonus action? I'd say, I see how would I rule that? I'd say basically you would take your action and your bonus action to cast a spell. That so makes even, sense. So even a bonus action costs like a, almost like a full action. Yes. Up, uh, you're not too sure how long, um, but you get you gather it might be a minute. Oh goodness. Okay. As this wild magic seems to course through you. That sucks, but okay. Did I go for hey, all of us? Gild Gilderoy, no, no, um, it's just right. for them. Gilderoy got a plus two to his AC. Yeah, and I no know, that would have yeah. been nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the end of the turn, I'm using my reaction to move uh, half my movement. Now, does this dancing affect my movement speed? Uh, um, you can... It doesn't look uh... like it. All its a creature must use all its movement to dance without leaving its space. Technically, oh, like so I can't turn. move. So I can't move. Yeah, I think you have to stay in that square until you get out of it. So you're basically river dancing on the spot. Okay, yeah, pretty much. So I, <laughs> I didn't all know right. you could dance. <laughs> so I would have. So I would have then used it to have that one. So I'll put seven hit points back on. Since yeah, I can't uh, move out I'll of it. Because I can't move, so I would have dodged it. Yeah, I'll allow that. Oh, boom. It's your turn. Uh, free action, I summon forth my giant, creepy-looking scythe. Bonus action, I will um, cast a spell. Give me a second to pull it out. Guardian of Nature. Uh, and I will use the one that gives me temporary 10 hit points, as well as advantage on dex and wisdom attack rolls, and constitution is an advantage. Got it. Also, uh, when you're in 15 feet of, it, uh, in range with me, uh, you, you are stepping on difficult terrain. So, um, I'll start, like, running at you with a kind of a wild look in my eye. <laughs> And I'll just attack you twice. Go for it. You have advantage on these strikes. The first one will hit. Ready. Did I roll a 19? That's important to know. Okay, never mind. Nope. Not too shabby. And then, um, because I have mobility, I will take a few feet back. So I moved 15 feet. 20 feet back, yep. One, two, three. So Darth, um, since you're raging, you only take half of the slashing damage that you receive. Mm -hmm understood and then 15 feet in front of me is difficult terrain yeah uh 15 feet around her yeah is difficult which is in front of you technically was i right oh. here uh Originally? no you yeah you're right there then you moved in and then you moved back sorry i meant one feet first because it's a reach thing so can i hit him from here and then move back as far as I can. Oh, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. Because you I do have a, yeah, you have a 10 feet. feet reach. Okay, and then that's 40 feet. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40. Boop. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um, all right. It's going to be Gilderoy's turn. He sees how you're, um, uh, let me double check something because one of my feats might have been activated if I hit you. Just give me a second. Oh, also because of my slasher feet, your, your speed is reduced by 10 feet. Okay. Is that homebrew? 
No, this is an actual feat. So, um, it's from Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. The feat is called Slasher. Yep. If I, Thank if you. I, if I crit, something special happens. All right, so it's going to be Gilderoy's turn. Gilderoy is going to... Uh, Does he have any teleportation? Uh, he does, but he's seeing how he kind of wants to... Is he is he better up close than, than personal? Because uh, I'm seeing a lot of spells. I'm thinking of using Crown of Madness or um, uh, Force Cage on Opal. Because Opal's just moving around a lot, not letting Darth get a hit in. I mean, that's your call. I'll let you play him how you think. I, you I can, think any of those can, options are fine. <laughs> you can certainly try. Um, shit. Uh, I, I don't know how to play a high-level wizard. Um, he's he's good in all of those situations, so dealer's choice. Fuck. Um, yeah, he's going to, you know, it's great. Go big or go home. He's going to cast Force Cage on... How okay. big is Force Cage? It's and how... up up to but he's not gonna make it up to he's gonna make it within the he's gonna just enclose you in this cage so okay. uh, is there any saves gonna... that need to be thrown uh to force cage. yeah you're completely trapped in there and if you want to if you have a way of teleporting out you must first save on a charisma save bro okay uh <clears throat> i use a charisma okay can you put a radius what how much room i have it's no, you have no room. It's just completely enclosed around your square. I don't like that. Hmm. Well, that's not very nice. So he's effectively getting you out of the fight for now. Can anyone hit inside? I don't think and who, so. Who threw that? Uh, it would have been this guy here at the by side the other bridge. He's, the man uh, with the magnificent mustache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as he, as he casts that, and uh, he's going to roll with D100. Because uh, he casts a seven spell, and he minuses that. 58. Watch this be another good one for him. Oh, okay. You watch as a geyser forms and just pushes him up 50 feet into the air. And he's, yeah, he's 58 feet in the air as this geyser is kind of keeping him up aloft in that. There we go. Oh, uh, during my turn, I would have actually used my owl to help what uh, the princess out. Uh, she's already broken free from that. Yeah, never mind then. So he uses that amount of spell points, and he, as he's there, he's like, "Don't worry, guys, I'll join you in a second. <laughs> At the end of his turn, you you feel the ground start to shake and shift as you watch. Um, the tree in the center here, you see as it's it's standing normal, but then all of a sudden as if something takes a hold of it, and you watch as its its um, appendages start to form together and form into these hands, and you see as the tree and elder makes his appearance. Mm. And you watch as he comes out, <sighs> You intruders are on my land. I will take you all down. And let's roll initiative for him. Got a five. All right. So he is going. Um, it, it was initiative count twenty. Well, it was at the top of the round, so he doesn't get to go yet. Even though. All right, Yasmin, it's your turn. You got you're dancing right now. I'm dancing. I am going to use my action to attempt the wisdom save. So what exactly am I seeing here? Hey Bob, would you like to describe what she's seeing? Sorry, I was muted. Uh you see a very short little fawn girl in this just golden chariot being pulled by this magnificent griffin, um, who is just making faces at you as she is playing this small little concertina. Good. Good. Alright, so I am going to use my action to make 
It's a wisdom save. Uh, yes, wisdom saving throw. And what's my DC? Close. 20. Ugh. Okay, so I don't make it. <clears throat> I am... <sighs> so I think that's just all your, your movement. I still believe you have an action, though, do you? That no, that's my action. action. That was her action to do it, yeah. I she cannot use my movement, and I can I... I am going to go ahead and flame my gauntlets with my bonus action. Because I suspect I'm going to have to fight at some point here. Nakia, you see um, as this fawn girl is kind of just messing uh, with your bodyguard and you see this tree, a tree and elder appear from the tree and he looks pissed at not anyone in particular but more about everyone <laughs> and um you can see as oh uh, you actually no you can't see below the cliff face you can't see what's going on with opal but yeah you see as this is all the stuff is going on what would you like to do yes i am 30 feet in the air on the side of this cliff and i'm just going to slide over a little bit so that i can get her within my range and I am going to cast Mind Sliver on her. On the fawn? Sure. Mm -hmm. we'll, need a, we'll need a charisma save first. Uh, she uh, your used... sanctuary didn't go off, actually. Nope, the... this was before sanctuary. Hold on, I can oh. post it. Uh, where is it at? Charisma <laughs> save. Yeah, I'm like, uh, what do I need a charisma save for? Let's see. Let me make sure this applies to this. It tries to attack. Oh, no. Uh, well, I think it's just an attack. I think I don't know if this would work for this or not. Um, as bonus action, you can remove the, 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 the duration. Whatever a creature tries to attack you for the first time on a turn. Um, I think we, I think we ruled like spells are not technically attack unless it's like unless it would be like an attack, act, like a range attack yep. spell or like a melee attack, like inflict yeah, wounds. Yeah, this or is a saving, saving throw. Yeah. It's saving throw. Yeah, this that is a saving sense. throw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all good. I just wanted to ch check on that. Yeah. All right. I'm well, that was like me with my uncanny you. dodge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll save it for the next spell. <laughs> All right, you get a neg. You have to subtract a one d four from your next saving throw. And you take the full eleven psychic. And you take eleven psychic. And make Got a con it. save on that dancing for me. Yes, make a con <laughs> on the dancing. <laughs> Ugh. Well, it's at a disadvantage, isn't it? Oh uh, no, but uh, she's just minus the d4. Or minus yeah. four. But it's either minus anyway. Why anyway. is it an advantage? Uh, Why is it Warcaster. an advantage? Uh, Warcaster? Do you have Warcaster? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but we'll roll the d4 just to see. But yeah, unfortunately, it, no. Yeah, no, that passes. It doesn't break the conversation. Yeah, because even a four it would still be a 10, which passes. Yeah, I was wondering why it was at advantage. So. Okay. So you're a Warcaster. Oh, how nice. All right, so that was my I'm not action, mistaken. but I'm going to quicken a spell. I love quickening. <laughs> it's just so great. Uh-huh. Since the first one was a cantrip, I can use a leveled spell, right? Yes, yes. you can. Good. I am then going to... Oh, you're going to cast, hold on, I want to see how, sorry, you're going to be in the blast range. Fireball. 
And I'm going to aim towards the little guy. <laughs> towards who? Where? Yeah, what are you? Uh... As far back as I can. Because uh, that's going to get Zephyr, too. Shooting? Which yep. person are you shooting? I'm shooting at her because she charmed me. I'm not happy with her. 150 feet. You could, um, you could make it so it only hits. Um, you could the make it so it only hits like there. Yeah. That would be that would be good. I would like to just hit those two if at all possible. Yeah, I'm gonna need deck saving throws from both of you, from both the your you and your mount. Whew. Why are you at advantage? I hate that you're at advantage for everything. It. No, that one's not Warcaster. Oh, that's, that's not just, Warcaster. Uh, that's um, Satyr. Satyr. Oh, Satyr oh 20 was first anyway. Yeah, but I've got um, the mount as well. So and, you're going to um, take 17 uh, damage you yourself. And the your mount takes also 17. And I think with mounted combatant, it actually takes none. But let me Ooh. check that. Yeah, That's if the mount is subjected right. to an effect that allows it to make a dex save for only half, it takes none. Wow, it's, it's pretty Wait, sick. mount? But it, I thought it's pulling your carriage. Does that count as a mount? Yeah. Yes, the it would. Okay. For the chariot rules, it has to. Otherwise, okay. if the chariot doesn't have HP and AC. Okay. Um, But you, I still need a constant... Not that you're going to fail, but I'm going to need a... Cons, con, oh, yeah. Constitution save time. It's like you just need a ten. Hour. Yes, I am oh, not dancing. <laughs> you are no longer dancing. Yes, <laughs> woo! Dirty, 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 dirty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Darth Edelorius, you see as oh, uh, this child and all their owls are trapped within this force cage. Uh, you take a quick glance at it, and you don't think you'll be able to get through, I don't think. I think Force Cage is nothing to go in or out, right? Um, yeah, that's a uh, sound barrier that prevents any matter from passing through it and blocking any spells cast into or out of that area. So you, you can't even hear me, I'm assuming, right? No, you'd be able to hear you. It just Okay, I just want to say two different voices. One says, like, hey, let me out. The other one says, like, you call this a challenge. <laughs> But Darth, you do see this massive tree and elder start to take form, mm. and uh, it's looking pretty, pretty big. Very well. As this and happens, that. Darth will lift a lift a hand and form it into a fist and shake it behind him at the man with the mustache. Gilderoy, how dare you? That was my enemy. I was just taking her out of the fight. <laughs> I do not wish to lessen my danger anymore. And you call that, you call yourself a warrior. <laughs> Darth will then go ahead and action dash, move twenty five feet here, and then attempt to scale the wall. Mathan, athletics or acrobatics, your choice. And then he is raging. I'm not sure. So if you get matters. advantage. Um, no, 24, yeah, easily enough. You're able to scale it, no problem. So if it's a 25-foot wall, yeah? 20 feet. 20 feet, okay. So I move 40. I've got 15 left once I get to the top. And that's it for Darth. And because he didn't attack or get attacked, his rage will drop. Good to know. And Ava. Yasmin just uh, broke free of your charm as you've lost concentration for a second as this fireball has been sent your way. What would you like to do? Uh, is she still... When she was dancing, did she let go of Zephyr? Yes. Okay. Uh... I let go anyway when I lit my gauntlets. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, so uh, Ava's just... Uh, I, I assume it's his... I assume it's an action to try and pull Zephyr up into the chariot. Yeah, it, um, yeah, I'd say it's an action. Yeah, she's just gonna try and grab him and pull him up and uh, try and get Jarek to turn him around and fly away. 
just just to be a bit fair as to you not know, just put him on and then you just get the fuck out <laughs> yeah no that totally makes sense i assume we will be open for a uh, tax of opportunity um but yeah we're gonna try and grab them and go if we can yeah yasmin you can make an attack of opportunity as you as they leave and that one is an attack so it will need the charisma save if it's on me or yeah it depends on if you're on the and I'm going against. Okay, so they didn't pass the charisma save. Cool. Yeah. And I don't. Uh, you can target somewhere else. So if you wanted to, you could target Zephyr. No, you could, uh, couldn't. You also target the mount. Uh, hey. Mounted Capatin make allows me to force it to be on me instead of the mount. Oh. I can post oh. that just for reference. Uh... You know what? I can target Zephyr. Oh. Yeah, you can do that. And I'm pretty sure 23 hits. Uh, 23 just barely hits Zephyr's armor. Um, and uh, so, yeah, he he was not... He was... Okay. He ha he's technically got a full night's rest. But he's unconscious because you guys... Um, you guys yeah. kind of knocked him unconscious. So... Yes. I'm going to rule that. Um, I would say he takes... He takes two death saves. Yeah, I, I keep bloodletting him, so, he, you know... He's keep... stabilized, as in he won't have to make rolls every turn. But he's unconscious, so he takes two death saves. Another one, and he's... Alright. Uh, yeah, then, uh, if we're able to get him out, then we're gonna we're gonna zoom and try and get him uh, somewhere a little bit safer. Um, so we will... We'll kind of chill over this bridge over here. If you could move the fierce token. But that'll be it for me. I'll bring him over there. Actually, how does that slow thing work? So since I didn't use a spell on my action, am I able it's to use it right it's, now? It's or is it... The, it's only on the ground, so like, because it's... Uh... No, 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 no. Um, he's talking about the the wild magic. So basically, uh, the wild magic states that um, any... Basically, any spell you cast takes both your action and your bonus to cast a spell. So since you use your action, you're unable to cast. Uh, a bonus action spell. Gotcha. You okay. got really unlucky with that roll. <laughs> How does... Okay, I think... I no, think uh, that makes sense. Would you, uh, what, would you, what would you like to say? No, I think that's it for me. I think that's all I can do. Okay, sure. If you wanted to cast a bonus action spell, you'd also have to you like waste your action, technically. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, Opal and Noctis. Um, Noctis is free to do what he wants, but Opal, um, you're kind of trapped in this force cage. Can I try to misty step out of it? Yes, you're going to have to make a, uh, I think it's charisma saving throw. Okay, yeah. give me a second. Yeah, that's correct. I don't know what Gilderoy's spell save is, though. So. Uh, I've got it here. Fuck, well, I'm going to say that didn't work. <laughs> Okay, um... Yeah, I don't know what a spell save is, but it's definitely a little higher than six. Can I try to talk to the ent the tree elder and go, Help us! Help us! Because you will notice two things, if if he gets a chance to see me. That I'm covered in bark-like skin, my hair looks like leaves, and I have a fae like looking scythe. And I say it in Sylvan. Make a persuasion check. I'll say at advantage because of all the stuff you have going on with you. Okay, uh, the advantage button. All right, shift. And persuasion, come on, baby, come on. A 19. Okay, I'll take it on that. Uh, it's gonna be, um, yeah, so you tried to Misty Step out, you couldn't do it. Uh, do you want Noctis to do anything? Oh, I've rolled a performance, but what's just, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, I will have, let's see, um, I tried to use, oh, it's, that was a bonus action, right? Did, was talking, was that a free action, or was that an action? Talking was a free action. Okay. But the persuade, the performance checks was your action, so it's kind of a... Okay, so I can't cast new spells, right? Um, what what were you thinking of? I was just gonna get my L over and then just give a 
boost to say someone um no nah, yeah. unfortunately yeah the performance check i would say is would be your action technically okay that's fine all right because uh, that was a substantial thing to do uh that's good um, right he's going to uh he sees that we have i'll secure. just get the owl to chase him after him so like go 60 feet and just zoom as fast as you can start chasing him right, he That's sees it. that we have Zephyr. um so can i have my owl as close as i can just just chasing him sure and you should have control but i'll just move him yeah so he goes 65 feet you said he moves 40 feet 40, 40 feet so with your action with his action you'll be able to like get get here yeah, that's fine. So you're in fine combat. Okay, Gilderoy's turn. He sees... Yeah, we have Zephyr, which is what we came here for. Does he want to continue fighting? He could probably at least cover our escape. Yes, you're right. So he's going to go ahead and... Um... Ooh, what about... What about Darth? Darth kind of... Eh. You know what? Darth can handle his own. He's gonna go ahead and cast. Uh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna cast a wall of fire along this this edge here, facing. So it's gonna be how many? Uh, let's call. Where are you, wall of fire? There you are. Oh, uh, that's sick. So it's gonna be uh, sixty feet long. So. Uh, Yes, so he's just going to cover that entire what I've drawn there, and it's going to be facing the other side. Unfortunately, Turf, you're in it. So I'm going to need a deck saving throw. Not at advantage because you're not raging. But you, since you see it, it's advantage because you have the uh, danger sense. So yeah. 19, Man. that's what you needed. So you can take 11 points of fire damage as this wall of fire roars up and covers the escape. Did that keep your rage going? No, it drops at the end of my turn. Ah, I got you, at that point. That would have been funny. <laughs> and he's like, well, that's well, a good way. <laughs> question, is it only targeting me, this wall of fire? Because if it is, I can add my AC. Ah, uh, well, it's already had. Never mind. That's fine. Technically, it's uh, targeting everyone on the other end, but it's only affecting you. If you are subjected to an effect that allows you to make a dex saving throw with shield mask, you may take half damage if you use a reaction or no damage if you succeed. So then I'll you use can my take reaction to take none. There we go. Very well. So shield on his offhand arm behind him, the man in half plate stares forward and says, None shall pass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then Gilroy's going to back up a bit. And then I'll start yelling at the elder and going like, "See, they're burning your forest." The elder's turn. He's gonna, he's gonna take that in consideration along with the persuasion check. He's gonna start. Um, you watch as he shifts into the earth and disappears for a second. He's gonna move. No, oh, whoops, not there. But he's going to. Um, he's gonna move 80 feet and he's just gonna appear next to this tree as he come, he basically appears out of this tree and uh yeah because he has the tree stride ability uh he's, he's going to go ahead and make two attacks one against gilderoy Question, and, isn't Gilderoy 50 feet in the air on a water sprout? Uh, that ended at the end of his turn. Oh. That was uh, for his turn only. Um, but yeah, thank you for reminding me that. Um, so he's going to make two attacks. One against Gilderoy, and... I might, he's going to make two again. Uh, no, one against Gilderoy and one against the Chariot. Uh, so against Gilderoy... Charisma save for the chariot. Sure thing. Let's see, Come on, are you gonna roll or uh... actually, how far away are you? The chariot? thirty feet up. Yes, thirty feet up. Then he actually can attack you. You're thirty too feet far. up, thirty feet over. Yeah. So twenty-four unfortunately does not hit Gilroy. 
Um, and then, yeah, so he's going to have to move if he wants to attack. He'd have to be basically under you if he wants to attack you, so he wouldn't be up to. And then he's just going to uh, do another attack against him. Fortunately, both attacks miss. And uh, at the top of the initiative count, you watch as, given that persuasion check and the fact that he's burning, the, he's going to, originally, he was going to form um, a wall of roots in this location. It's going to be like this. But he's, instead, he's going to shift it, um, and he's going to try and make sure you guys can't escape. So he's, uh, you watch as from the ground, you uh, these these roots start to almost burst through, coming from both the trees and just in the ground itself. As he does this, and uh, he's going to, he can't do it over water. So he's going to do it like that. So he watches these roots here and form a 30 feet high wall. Right. That's the initial count. That's the top of the top of the round. Yasmin, it's your turn. They have left with Zephyr, the one that you're supposed to have captured. I was actually only hired to protect the princess. True. But, but the princess, it's just the princess's mm -hmm. job. To, but yeah, go ahead. I am... So we have a wall of fire here. I can't see yes. the wall of I can't see the wall there. You can't see through it. I can see he's here. I am going to sheathe my weapons and start packing the camp. All right. Yeah, easily enough with your action, you're able. You're starting to pack up the camp, and you successfully get it packed. Well, it would take me more than six seconds to pack up the camp. Um, uh, you're very dexterous and fast, so you. I like and I've got really good Judy survival, path. and I'm really fast on survival, but it's still going to take me more than six seconds. <laughs> Fine. I, I just imagine this corny fast like. Done. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. I'm just. <laughs> I'm imagining you opening up a bag of holding and just going whoosh. Yeah, okay, then. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pack everything would... up, pile it on your carpet, and you know. <laughs> princess, would I have seen the state that she was in? Pardon, I repeat. Before Noctis left the princess, would I have seen the uh, status of what how she was? Because Noctis is always talking to me. Yeah, uh, Nakia looks fine, honestly. Okay. Untouched. Yeah, I'm just clinging to the side of a mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, just checking. Speaking of Nakia, it's your turn. You see as the cherry is getting away with your... Um... Yes. <laughs> And I am going to try and do something kind of interesting. I am going to try and turn the chariot into my minion. <laughs> Animate object on the chariot itself. Not just the chariot. Not the people. Only... Just the chariot. <laughs> Unfortunately, it only works on non-magical objects. Oh, is it a magical chariot? Yeah, that's how we fly. Oh, uh, you... Okay, then I wouldn't be doing that. That's a really good. smart idea, though. I really that, like that. I, was, I, was, I was thinking about that. I was like, wow, shit. That, that actually... would be interesting. Okay, so then I wouldn't do it because I would realize we'd like, oh, darn it. Yeah, okay. I, I would say you don't need anybody to check for that. You'd be like, it's, it's a house, so it's going to fly. House, what it is. Well, 
It's a griffin. <laughs> yeah, but the chariot itself would be drooping down, but it's... it's well, I can't tell. Well, I guess I, I could. I would say um, Let's see here. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to shadow step from this mountain all the way down to right about here. I measured it. That was less than 120 feet. Yeah. So I'm now down here on the ground, and I am going to try and disorient your flying and throw up this reverse gravity in your path. <laughs> and they don't get to make a dex check because you wouldn't be able to really grab onto anything. So no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna there... counter spell that. You're gonna one. counter spell? <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> We're not gonna just let that one. Fly. This one's gonna be tougher though. Uh, yeah. Oh, that shouldn't be an advantage. That's a two on the first one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> As you go to attempt the counter spell, you see her casting this, and it looks like it's gonna be a high level spell. Oh, it's okay. No problem. No problem. You go to attempt the counter, and um, you see Zephyr's body uh, start to like. Uh, start to shuffle and um, kind of rouse and you take a quickest second to look and then because of that your concentration just lose, it loses and you you can't do the counter spell and you watch as your whole chariot and everything in it as you guys are flying your the gravity seems to reverses and you watch as the fierce body flies up a hundred feet and you, you're having trouble steering, and your um, your whole chariot is kind of going all walky a bit. It's you're still flying, and but it's just gonna. It's a bit difficult to. Can we put a yeah. radius on the gravity the gravity field? That's a hundred and twenty so feet radius. So I'm like no, putting no, no. it in there. No, 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 fifty foot 50 radius. radius. Fifty foot radius. Fifty foot radius. Oh, fifty foot radius, hundred feet yeah, high. One but five it's minute. Like... That's gonna hit a bunch of people. I well, I was putting it in the path. So, as they were trying to go forward, they can't go forward unless they're going through this. Let's see, 50 foot Still radius. Still probably going to hit the Int and Gilderoy, too, probably. Just I mean, hey, that's, that's pretty... I mean, I would say you could do it here so it hits everyone. It hits all of these guys, but not you. 50, Wait. 60... So, ah, I ran out of space. All right. Be go. nice to my tree friend. No, this isn't well, I was, big enough. I was kind of trying to do kind of a um, circle. <laughs> okay. I guess it's a little bit more. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, get rid of my lines. Oh, I can't select them. <laughs> get rid of your line. It's just the lines you, going all over the place. Uh, an easy way, uh, Phil, is if you just grab a random like token, like a dot or a circle. From mm -hmm. your, and give it a yeah, give it a an aura. Give it a fifty foot radius, yeah. Aura. And let us see it. Yeah. Sure, I'll add, I'll add yeah. this guy that I never got to use. Um, Throw a fifty foot radius, yeah. And then let's tweak him around. So aura, aura <laughs> one fifty foot radius. The losses. And you'll have to mark it so that we can see it with the little three dots next to the radius yes. or next to the aura. Thank you. Yeah, so, perfect. Yeah. Where would you, where and would you're going you to want to put him like down here if she, it's going to yeah, be in the I path. Yeah, I put him in the path and maybe a little closer to the other guy. <laughs> you don't want to hit yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'll know my radius so I would be right yeah, outside she... of it. <laughs> I mean, stupid. Uh, <laughs> I will also need a D100 from you as you cast a 7 spell. Oh, yes. I, I, I understand that. I definitely cast a big spell. Oh, 83. 83. As you cast a spell, um, oh, wow. Okay. Um, is anyone mm. within 30 feet of you? No. Uh, Just me. <laughs> no, then you don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what the rest of us would give a big sigh of relief. <laughs> no, no the, what would have happened is um, other, uh, anyone within 30 feet takes 1d10 necro necrotic damage and you gain HP. To how much they lose. Ooh, that would have been nice for me, but that bad nice. for any of my friends. 
Okay, so you guys are in the... And you watch as Zephyr's body just leap, just goes up to the, the full 100 feet and just the cherry, uh, and just leaves the cherry and it's floating up there. Good. <laughs> I, I knock on the glass. Remember, we need him alive. Knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm just hey. sipping tea at this point. <laughs> just Anything with the okay. bonus? Uh, I... Oh no, your bonus was your teleport. Yeah, my bonus was my teleport, so All I right. am done. Darth, you um, you see this the, this woman just packing up camp right in front of you, just sheath of weapons, and Good. there's also a wall of flame right behind you. Uh, I wanted to hold this this line against them to my very death, but that has not happened today. But sad. <laughs> that Darth will move over here and he will see the spell caster to the south and he will lift up his staff as it begins to shake and quake as from it he casts a spell Ooh. old monster is she a monster? I, I don't know I don't think she I think you you it's, need to hold person right? it's any creature uh, yeah. Oh, any it's, creature. It's inclusive. Yeah. Oh. Then, yeah, the further up it. you go, the more inclusive they get. Yeah. That makes sense. So, wisdom save? Oh, another wisdom save? Yep. Uh, DC 17. <laughs> um, I also will need a D100. Um, yeah. uh, as you cast this fifth level spell. Alright, I got <laughs> held. Technically, uh... it's not from Darth. It's from his item. But, but what's your ruling? Uh, I would say the item has to roll a d100 then. <laughs> does, does being paralyzed make me lose concentration? Yep. Probably. Good god, another one of my spells. Ooh, Zephyr's now out of the, uh, is out of the chariot and falls. Yeah, he just fell a hundred. Third death save. <laughs> He can only have oh. around, so he's technically 20 feet or 40 feet. No, no, it's he's gonna fall right back into the chariot. Mm. <laughs> oh, with reaction, yeah, as he falls back in to where the chariot is. Um, yeah, it's. Oh, wait, um, is it did your you, turn? You, no, you, you didn't, uh, you already used your reaction to cast counter spell, though. Oh, yeah. I did. Shoot. Yes. Yeah, so as he falls, he, <laughs> he's just gonna fall. He hits the chariot and he takes he takes a final death save. Yes. <laughs> as if fear is dead in your chariot. It's not our fault. It's theirs. They messed us all up. Have this body. We've all failed now. <laughs> <laughs> and we still have that ant. And we still have the ant that's out to get all of us. <laughs> So 72 with that. Um, oh, um, uh, she within 20 feet. Uh, no, she's not. But <laughs> you see, as just stuff is pulled towards um, towards you. Darth. Oh, you can ditch Hold the off. token that has the aura. Yep. Yes. Bye-bye, token. <laughs> Ah, oh, you guys are killing me. All my good spells are just... <laughs> that was your action and uh, some of your movement. Do you have anything else? That was it. So uh, what happened to my staff? <laughs> um, no, uh, your staff, you felt that stuff was been pulled towards your staff, but nothing too substantial. Very well. Um, Ava, you have a dead Zephyr in your chariot. Oh, man. Well, we're just going to, she's going to kind of pull on the reins for Zephyr, or for Jerex, um, and kind of take it down uh, to the ground back behind uh, this wall. Mm -hmm. And she will kind of carefully uh, put Zephyr's body on the ground and just 
this surge of anger begins to run through her. And that's it. Hey, why are you upset? You're the one who killed them. Is that what you wanted to do, I say? Opal, in fact, it's your turn along with Noctis. Noctis was flying up ahead over top of these guys. Hello? I ask you. He does not respond. You just see these just kind of like sparks of purple and blue coming up out of the chariot. Tell you what, maybe we can strike a deal and then out of my mask, I take a gem. I can bring him back to life. <laughs> what do you say? At the moment, she still is not responding. But Don't you see you. As her eyes are now flicking your direction. Do you want to save your friend or not? We were just taking him in. We weren't going to kill him. You're the ones who killed him. In fact, you rudely attacked us without even giving an explanation. And time is of the essence. We don't got much time. So, what's it going to be? You're going to let me out and so I can help your friend here? Tick, tock, tick, tock goes the clock. Are you going to uh, do anything with your action or moments? Well, he's got to make a save to try and get out. Oh no, that's only if they teleport. Because we can do this the easy and if I may for flavor, uh, Phil, because we can do this the hard way. And if I may, given the nature of my sight, can I summon it outside the 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 block and just have it float? Or we can do this the easy way. And I technically and I... Um, technically, um, no magic can pass through it. So uh, pass through the cage. So, uh, but I'll allow a Christmas saving throw for that. Specifically for the for, for that for the okay. scythe, yes. I'm gonna laugh if my scythe gets out before I do. <laughs> nope. Ah. No, unfortunately, as you say, the easy way or the hard way, you go to summon your scythe and it doesn't summon outside. You just it's still. Oh. Your well, I guess we're doing this the hard way still, but still, still counts. Anything on that? Um. What are the status effects of everyone? Like everyone seems fine. Um, Zephyr's dead. Um, Yasmin is pretty injured, and Nakia is fine. Although I'm... you do see a raging barbarian coming after her. Okay, I will have my owl go. And I'm right to uh the tree end and if you will allow me oh mr fret oh mr elder tree w would you like to jump higher Whew. it turns um it's it's busy squaring off with uh gilderoy <clears throat> but you see as it takes a second to shift its gaze it doesn't say anything but it just looks at where it looks at the owl i'm speaking through the owl it's me, friend. It, it hasn't. It doesn't respond, but it's it's a notice that you're saying stuff. Well, I'll try to cast a jump spell on it to see if it's willing. He doesn't take it. He doesn't take it. If he wants it, it's his. He can jump a little bit higher. Yeah, he'll take it. I believe the jump spell... Yeah, triple. Distance is triple until the spell ends and it lasts for about a minute. It's not concentration either. Good to know. Um, you still have a bonus, you yourself. I use my bonus technically... Um... Oh, what can I do? Hold on, hold on. I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea because bonus. I will. No, I don't. 
think there's any bonuses I can do. I can think of. So um, I'll just take out my tea set and keep well keep sipping tea and waiting. Ooh. All right. Um, it's gonna be Guild War. He doesn't like this guy in front of him, so he's he. I think he's gonna want to get out of here. Um, it's gonna dimension door. Uh, actually, you could start you cutting into. It. Yeah, you yeah. could cut into him. I keep thinking that he's a normal wizard, but no, he's a blade song. Yeah, so he's gonna make some attacks with his rapier. Yeah, blade song is activated. Um, so yeah, does he have any special things? I think it's just two attack. Just two attacks. Yeah, extra attack. Um, okay, so first one. Eleven. <laughs> Even with its super low AC, the elder somehow doesn't get hit by that. Nineteen would hit, so it takes. Uh, you watch as the elder takes these two attacks, and <laughs> while it's super easy to hit. You notice that the gashes it's doing is barely doing a bit of damage, you know. All right, so that's Gilroy, and does he have any bonus action stuff? Let's see, actions. It's more of the action. Action, the action. A uh, Misty Step. Uh, yeah, you'll... How far is Misty Step? 30 feet? Yeah can't really get that far he could get to the rock in the middle of the river oh he could Smart. so yeah he oh, why not misty step there because he thinks the tree that wouldn't be able to get him there so let's do that good idea next is the tree and elder and now the tree goes down into the earth and comes up on that rock too <laughs> <clears throat> Unfortunately, he can't technically do that. You can only <laughs> go to he can only go through trees when he when he move, uh, if he wants to move his tree stride. Um, well, he can jump out three times. He no. did. He, he can actually. Um, what's his? What's the jumping distance of a creature? Normal. Strength. He, he has plenty of jump to make it ten feet. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> If he has any positive strength score. So times that by three, what would yeah, it be? It cover a number of feet up to your strength. Uh, where is it? Let's see. You cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on uh, foot immediately before the jump. Uh, Phil, what's his strength and how tall is he? I'm just going to use a calculator to make it easier. Oh, and plus does he 20 uh, is his strength, and okay. he's about 10 feet tall. 10 feet? If, if someone is unaware the jump spell has been placed on them, what happens then? I asked, and I gave it to him willingly, and he accepted he, But I don't, I don't know if he knows <laughs> what this spell is on him. But with he a... can, with his size, he can, he could practically stride the eight yeah, feet so... across to that rock. <laughs> With a running start, he can make it 60 feet horizontally, cool. but he can only jump up to his max move speed. Okay, <laughs> so he can but... jump his entire move speed, probably. <laughs> okay, yeah. but like, well, now if he figures it out, it's times three, right? So, or no, 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 that's, that's, times... that's with the jump spell. Okay, that's but really that's still, cool. that's still terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But it is a pretty um... small rock, and he's a, he's a tree, and he doesn't want to go in the water. So... Um, he's just it's gonna kind of a how badly, do, yeah, how badly does so he he's want? He's gonna go <laughs> as he just this massive elder just lands there and he turns around. Um, he's going to um, you know what? He's going to uh, unleash toxic spores. So you watch mm -hmm. as um, from the Treant's big uh, uh, muscular arms you see as they start to rip open and you see these spores that are on the inside start to spray out. I need uh, every creature within 20 feet. So that includes Gilderoy, actually, to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. 
I don't think that will affect me. Um, it wouldn't affect right. me anyway because nothing can get in or out. Yeah, nothing physical, no matter. Uh, sixteen does save. I'm right out of the. Um, distance. you have advantage on. Uh, I know you have advantage for keeping your spell up, but do you have advantage for? Um, saving throws against magical effect, which I assume just counts as magic. Because it's a warcaster, right? No, that one's just from uh, Fey. Oh. And does your does your um, does your guy have to make one too? Yes, I was about to roll that. His sure. will be what is proficiency? Constitution saving throw. Yeah, he should. His will be plus three, whatever this is. So fifteen. Fifteen just passes. So none of you guys are frightened. Uh, so yeah, that would have been a frightened effect. And then he's gonna. Uh, no, that was his action. But he's just gonna stay there and uh, it's gonna be pretty menacing. All right. At the top of the turn, I'm gonna need anyone that's within ten feet of a tree. So um, that's gonna be just these um, two. Oh, of any tree? Any tree. Ten feet, any. you said. Ten feet. So that's gonna be Noctis, <laughs> the owl, and who? And actually, no one else. What about myself over here? You're you're on the edge of twenty feet under, down. Yeah, you're twenty feet down. So actually, it's just gonna be Noctis. I'm gonna need a Dex saving throw from Noctis. Uh, if it's being attacked, it has an ability to avoid that kind of stuff. Um, fly by, oh, fly by, but no, um, it's you know, no, that's not the same thing. Reach. Okay, never mind. Yeah, leave my fucking owl alone, Phil. You just have, <laughs> you just no, to no, tree. you leave my fucking owl alone, dude. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, okay, need to accept it. Okay, gotcha. Um, oh. <laughs> you watch as the the tree, um, some of the vines that are, the frozen vines that are uh, on the tree. They, they seem to whip out and grab on your Noctis is grappled. <laughs> Poor owl. He's just, a, he's just a poker addicted owl. Leave him alone, okay? And he's the one that gave him smell. <laughs> yes, and you're, you're still packing up camp. <clears throat> um, Actually, is the wall of fire still up? Um... Gilderoy did not take any damage, and he would be maintaining that, because why wouldn't he? So it is still up. Yes. Did my owl get grappled by trees? Yes, it did. Um, so did any of the trees near me actually move at all? No, they didn't move at all. So I am completely unaware of the danger of the trees. No. I... I'm going to saunter over here and attempt to hide behind the tree. Oh, you I said keep... five damage? He's... Yeah, he's dead. I want to no, keep no, no. an eye. I didn't say any damage. I said he's grappled. Okay, never mind. I want to keep an eye on this guy, but I'm not going to do anything else about him. So yeah, I am. So I am. There. Good job. Anything for action, or is that all? Um. That's it. Good to know. Nakia, it's your turn up next. Uh, you can, there is a twenty-foot wall. Uh, sorry, thirty. I'm uh, paralyzed. 30 wall oh, you're oh paralyzed. actually, I could have actually I could have gotten up to this wall, this because if I wasn't going to do anything else, it doesn't matter. I was yeah. there. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I had, uh, I had fall, oh, yeah. uh, for, um, missed that uh, saving throws, so I am paralyzed. Oh, so at the end of the turn, I think you get to make a save, right? Yeah, a wisdom save at the end of your turn. Are you still thirty feet yeah. up? Oh no no no! I'm on the ground. I need to get rid of those wings. Where's my wings? Get rid of those. 
No, no, I'm I'm on the ground. Um, let's see. I am curious. I am wearing a ring that has a spell in it. Would that go off? It's a lesser restoration. To activate a ring, uh, I would say if you're paralyzed. Because the spell is just stored in there, so all the verbal yeah. and semitic thing has already been activated. Yeah, all, yeah, that's, all the verbal and semitic, and yeah, you just have to... I think if you just... If it's a ring of here, let me check the ring of spells. So so. I think she would just have to do some kind of semitic, like a hand movement to like activate the ring. Which and she can't do that. I can't. So I'm wondering if it's just a mental... It's a ring of spell oh, story. Okay. Any creature can cast a spell at first. Oh, wait, no, no. Blah, blah, blah. By touching um, the ring as the spell is cast. No, no, that's just that's just uh, casting a spell into the ring. Um, oh, into the ring. Okay. While wearing this ring, you can cast any spell stored into it. The spell uses a spell slot. But it's otherwise treated as if you cast a spell. Mm, so it doesn't... It, you, she would need to use her action to cast it. And she can't yeah, she, yeah, she doesn't have an action. She's yeah, cast it. So okay, yeah, so I just yeah, need to do my saving save. throw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the I was like, I've is... got a zero <laughs> wisdom, so I'm like, I'm never gonna. Well, never mind. So at the end of your turn, you break free from this paralysis. And I am fuming. <laughs> Darth. <laughs> Very well. I shall he... stalk forward in the snow as my rage once more comes upon me. Isn't he close to a tree? Fifteen feet from a tree. Yeah, he was fifteen. He wasn't ten feet. Yeah. Cloaked well, woman, tree. your reckless use of magic has snuck oh. out my... Oh dear. For this oh. you shall pay. I look away, he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Quarter staff. <laughs> what? 3D0? What? Yeah. What? That was, that was supposed to be three rage damage. You should do 3D1. Let's see. And then Divine Fury on top of that. Mm -hmm. And and this is all while recklessly raging. Yeah. Uh, and of course, my armor class is a <laughs> whopping 12. So even if I threw up anything, it wouldn't even matter. Oh, I forgot to ask. What what species are you? Race are you? Or human, human orc, etc.? You're talking to the man in the half plate? Yes. Mm-hmm. You you see wisps of fire coming out around the the helmet. So okay, you're like an elemental. Okay, never mind. Gotta double check because I'm a ranger, right? Because like I have favorite enemies, so that's what I wanted to double check. All right, um, so the zero it was actually the rage. Or I'm trying to figure out how many much damage you just did to me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. Yes. <laughs> From the Ouch. first hit. First Second. hit? <laughs> Second hit. Oh, you're so mean. <laughs> Another 12. <sighs> that, that's it for the man with the Rage staff. damage. Rage damage should apply to that, too. Oh, true. Thank you. So three oh. more. Three more. So 15, okay. Uh... You really don't like me. Alright. 28 points of damage. No more. Alright, so that hurt. <laughs> yeah, 41 total. Oh. Fine. We will work our differences out.
All right. Unless you haven't got anything else, Ava, it's your turn. You've got a butt attack too, don't you, Darth? Use my bonus action to rage. Ah, right. I forgot it fell. Uh, yeah. So, um, as Opal has been kind of calling to her from uh his little box. Uh, he now sees her stand up, her muscles kind of rippling with magical power as her eyes kind of start to glow, and she just looks straight through him. Her. It is her, excuse me. It was you all who started this. Your blade killed him. Her magic. But it will be my magic that finishes this. And she is going to begin to pull the chariot out. And Charisma save from the Treant if he wants to make an attack of opportunity. He will. We'll, we'll save. I don't think he. I don't think he'll be able to get. No. No. Yeah. So she begins to fly the chariot forward and surging um, with this magical energy that she cast last turn with her action and bonus action. Oh, I hate you. What are you doing to me this time? She will begin to swing in to her with her staff. Uh, actually, first she's going to use her bonus action on this turn. <clears throat> I'm going to just make sure that you don't see a life for a life. And we're going to go ahead and drop a Hexblade's Curse on her as well. Don't you have to use your bonus action with your action in casting? For yes, spells. Yeah. This is not a spell. Tensor's Transformation is not a spell? Tensor's was last turn. That's when I said she was by the kind of taking the moment to rest yeah. and charge power. That was okay. the action and bonus action last turn. I'm just posting okay. for reference. Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, so... could, could you roll a d100 for the six level spell? Oh, yes, absolutely. Sorry, I should have messaged you on that one. 85. Um, so, 85. Um, you get, uh, as, as this transformation happens, you get it also another side effect as there appears to be several copies on you. You have mirror image cast on you. Oh, beautiful. All right. Yeah. And with their. Our action, we're gonna we're gonna go to town, um, and so she's going to with tensor swing in twice onto this cursed target in front of her. Ugh. Sorry, I was still trying to read what the curse does to me. <laughs> All right, so the first one will be nineteen. Oh shoot, no, that's not right. Plus an extra five. From the proficiency, I'll add that in for next time, so we don't have to keep track of that. All right, so that is oh. twenty-four points. Yep. And then the second hit. And that one has the plus five factored in, so it should just be the numbers. And then once oh. Ava is done, the Griffin's gonna take his turn. As no he need. Is... No need. Oh. I only had 27 more hit points. You absolute fools. Do you have any uh, idea who you just killed? And unfortunately, <laughs> if we're, uh, if you're hexbladed, uh, we're taking you all the way down. And so he's gonna make two auto crit onto the uh... body. Hold on. I do not go to zero easily. Let me think. Strength of the grave. What does that do? You need to make a charisma saving throw. Yes. Five plus the damage taken. Oh, no. do it. Oh, that sucks. That's my one get out of jail free card. And I freaking boggle. So... A serious voice, like, seems to change. Like, you fools, you have any idea who you just killed? You will be hunted to the ends of the world. For her, for her mother does not take kindly. She shows no mercy. You absolute fools. Let her come. She'll meet the same fate as her daughter. <laughs> oh, you don't know my mother. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, Alright, so do I need to do a... Do I need to um, do a death can save? Can I mention her name? May I say her name? Oh, or is yes. it just... It's, is it's the additional hit just failed? It's a, uh, Akasha. Akasha. Queen Akasha will find you. She Actually, always does. Taking damage is just automatic failed death saves. 
Yeah, and so I you failed you, two deaths. I think uh, in melee fails two. Yeah, well, I, I died failed. on his last staff attack. Um, yep, and then the griffin attacks twice. Uh, oh, so, so she's dead outright. No, that's that's, no, that's four fails. Is it four fails? Oh, because it's I offered, two. I offered you peace. I will remember this. Oh. And you will go down. I am totally. I offered to negotiate, but your pride got in the way, little little child. Oh. That's right. the Griffin, and you. Um, anything else, Ava? Did you nope, take down it. one of the members? That's everything. All right. Man, I got picked on tonight. <laughs> what is your name, so I can find you? <laughs> Oh, Bull, it's your turn. I would have left you guys alone, but you had to go and kill the person we're here for. <laughs> well, you dropped them. It's not our fault. You'd... I know, not my fault. You were trying no. to keep him alive. No, you know? I did deliberately set him up for death. So, um, I, I, I I, that's on me. I, I chose that, so. <laughs> I am pissed as all hell. Pissed <laughs> as all hell. And I just kind of like, just take in all everything and i just try to with all my might try to misty step out of this fucking box make a charisma saving throw against kill work save. i'm going to get i'm going to try to send my my weapon out sure make a charisma saving throw so i'll save dc 19. Are you fucking kidding me that's bullshit <laughs> Nope. Come on. Nine, unfortunately, you're just unable to teleport out. And so, neither is your weapon. Gildroy has successfully just caged you. Just screams with absolute anger. Two voices like, I will kill you. Two voices screaming. One cries and one screams with absolute anger. Um, Gildroy is going to look over to... Uh, both you, Darth, and uh, Ava, he's like, well, um, should I be getting Zephyr and getting out of here? And, uh, he's going to... If the ant lets him. <laughs> what, was, what was the jump distance again? Um, uh, um, I is... it it's your strength you score. That, can I try he's to get Noctis out? Yeah, you can make a deck saving throw for Noctis. His jump is eight feet with a running uh, start, uh, four feet without a running start. So he's not able to actually jump out of that. <laughs> could also just Misty Step again if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Um, he's got a bonus action Misty Step, actually. Yeah, you're right. Uh, That's how he got there. <laughs> yeah, he's going to bonus action Misty Step. He's going to grab a hold of Zephyr, and he's going to Dimension Door. Um so he's oh, how about he dimension door two? He's he's gonna dimension door on how how big is your chariot? Uh it is barely big enough to take two. It probably can't take three. And he can't see it anyway because of the, the plant wall. Um dimension door is not uh you don't have to see for a dimension door. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna choo 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 Oh does he? Where is Sonic Dimension Door on his cheek? Is it looking at someone else? Oh no, I think I was looking at someone else's sheet. Oh no. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, gotta stay there and protect the body. <laughs> I swear he has Dimension Door. Now. Do any of you guys have Dimension Door? Nope. None of us are even able to. I think I'm the only one who might be able to. Barbarian does not have Dimension Door. What the hell was I looking at, then? <laughs> um, okay. Maybe the, no maybe the tree end has Dimension Door. Uh, no, it, the tree end does not. Bard, Sorcerer, Warlock, and Wizard. Wizard? I swear he had it. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on a sec. I'm just kind of losing my mind right now. Um, How many fifth level spells does he have known? Um, only. Oh yes. Okay. It's a fourth level That's conjuration. The fourth level. He oh, only has fourth? one fourth level known. 
swear. It's... Anyways, never mind. I guess he doesn't have it. Um. That's oh wait, funny. let me let me unclick the unprepared the prepared stuff. I oh, know he just didn't even add it. Okay, whatever. Um, shit. No, he would know his own spells. He wanted to mention door there. Um. Oh, he wouldn't. He wouldn't um, go, he wouldn't miss Misty steps, Step. Right? Um, because while he could fight that thing, um, he's 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 looking okay. Actually, he's got a big armor class. Why not? Let's go for it, Misty. Yeah, Clark. go he's fight just, the tree. Yeah, go for it. He's gonna make two attacks. One and two. Doing oh, the second one doesn't hit, but the first one does. Doing <laughs> not that much. <laughs> Shit. Sorry, um, sorry to Jeremy. I'm playing this character like shit. <laughs> um. Okay, now it's the Treant's turn. Um, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna make one attack on on Pablo, but he, he's he's been noticing the Treant's been noticing that he just can't hit him, no matter how well he's doing. So he's gonna wisen up to that. Because his fucking AC is 28. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so actually what he's going to do is he's going to use thorn bushes on, uh, on the lot of you. So I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw from you three. Okay, danger sense means I get advantage on this. You do. So when I success, you only take half damage. Uh, Darth, you take uh, you also take half damage because you're raging. Right. And the mount does the mount get hit? How does that work? The mount takes half, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because you're mounted combat of it. Oh, that's a fucking nineteen. Yeah, so it takes half damage. Alright, and the treant's gonna go ahead and tree stride to... Oh, he's gonna tree stride out of this tree here, and he's gonna start moving. So 15, 25, so he gets up to there. Actually, he'll, he'll move up to there. 30 feet. Alright, that's the treant elder. Yasmin, it's your turn up next. The princess is dead. Ah, yeah. So I am going 100 feet away, and then I am going to hide. <clears throat> Some bodyguard. Well, yeah. yeah, but that's done now. She's dead, 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 and I'm out of here. You best hope I don't find you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, My I, reputation's I already in shreds, so, so yeah. And my patron is my my patron is her mother too, which means I'm gonna have to do some hard thinking to rebuild my life. <laughs> You're in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> she was all nice and safe. She was all nice and safe up here, and then she went off and did some daft thing. Back here, you find yourself in. Uh, it's dark around where you are. And. You, you can feel as. Your life is draining and you are headed to the afterlife. You didn't think it would be like this, but then you realize something. Your your damp here. You sh you shouldn't be dying right now. You should be heading back to um where your uh where your coffin would take place, where where your coffin would be. But no, you you feel as if you're plucked 
and you are now in the afterlife. You are officially dead. Um, can I still try to escape a few times and try to go under her? Um, it's it's not your turn yet. Okay. Let's see what they do. Darth, it's your turn. Very well. Furiously raging, he will look over at the satire woman and be like, Again, my prey has been taken. <laughs> my challenge <laughs> stuffed out early. I am just big enough challenge right there. I'm going to find <laughs> the other one. Very well. And the man in the metal mask will turn towards the tree and begin to hack it down with a staff. Go for it. 33 definitely hits. And he's doing this furiously. Got it. All right, the train's taking some hits. And the second hit. Do you have any actual fire damage you can do? Mm. Trees aren't very good with fire. They aren't. But for now, just one round of hits. We'll do sure, it. Sure, and you do this. You take a sizable chunk out of him, and uh, let me have that kindling. Mm, 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 mm. Fifty-two points. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. He's looking. He's still looking really beefy. And that's it for Darth. All right. Ava, it's your turn. All right. Ava is going to once again turn the chariot around and kind of try and take off into the air. And so another charisma save Ava if he wants to take an attack of opportunity. See if he even makes it. He's not even going to watch. Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah. Um, and she's got, what, he's got 90 feet of movement, I think. Let me check. Uh, yeah, fly 90. So we're going to start moving in that direction where she saw her. Um, I forget your name, um, but where she saw the, the rogue kind of at. Yes, yes Yasmin. Um, and so we'll begin to move in that direction and try and keep an eye out for her. And so we'll use our action to go ahead and make a perception check. Uh, this shouldn't be an advantage, so first one. Oh, first one is the biggest one. That meets mine. And I'm quite a ways away and undercover. So You're I don't know. Just to see her. <laughs> Alright, let me see how, if you are in range. So how far away are you? I right, let's are see. I started here. I, off I'm off the map because I started here. So I'm 100 feet from here. So if you're five feet from there, I'm uh, so, 95 feet from you. So, so you're 140 feet away from where I was. So dashing at 90, I can get 180. So yeah, we'll dash right up to her. Ah! <laughs> you, her. you have to pay the price as well. And that's it for me. Oh, oh you stopped. Good. Did you, So you, you stopped within five feet of me? We're right okay. next to you. I move another 25 feet. As your reaction, yeah. As a scout. All right. So... If that's the case, then we'll go ahead and uh, we will burn our bonus action then. Uh, does, I don't uh, think, well, no, no, no. Because it's end your... I don't do it till you end your turn. Oh, in my it's, turn. If, never mind. If you end your turn, I move 25 feet away. And no attack of opportunity. Uh, and no opportunity yeah, so... attack. <laughs> Scouts. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something crazy now. I'll see if you'll allow this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna command some of my owls to attack me so I can make a reaction to try to teleport out of here. I don't think anybody can attack, but I don't know. <laughs> the owls are inside the cube, right? Yep. Technically, you could just stab yourself with, like, a pointy stick. It has to be a reaction from something, right? So it can't be me. It has to be my owls. So I'm going to command my owl to attack me. Like, they all can't attack you. They can't get into you. 
No, no, no. You could still hit yourself and use your reaction to bamf. Okay, I'll do that. So we'll just like <laughs> scream because I'm the. At this point, I've just gone mad, berserk, and just like so. I'll just like hit myself and try to like escape. Pretty, pretty emo. Go for it. And is yeah, a reaction? I... Would a reaction be a bonus or an action? Uh, it'd it's be an action to attack. Either. Okay. No, no. Uh, an action would be to attack yourself, and then you would use your reaction to resist the damage and teleport. Okay. So I'm going to scream, hit myself. Uh, are you going to use an actual weapon, or are you just going to punch yourself? Do. I'll switch. Um, yeah, I, I I'm going to switch. No, I can't do that. Okay, I'll just I'll just use the a bit of my blade, my uh, weapon. Sure. <laughs> I mean, you could just punch yourself for one damage, or plus your okay, strength. I guess I'll punch myself, yeah. Just bah! So you take one damage, plus your strength. If it's negative, then you just still take one damage minimum, I think. Yeah, that's okay, well, it's negative, yeah, so... <laughs> so you take one damage, and you use your reaction to half the damage. It's just so one. you take zero, I think, because I'm rounding yeah. up. Yeah. Zero, because it's yeah. rounded up usually, isn't it? No, I'm rounding down. Damn. Okay. So you take no, that... no damage, and then you can teleport. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll roll another charisma. And then if it doesn't work, I'll do it again and hit myself in the face again and do it a second time. Um, I think you can only do that once per turn. I can hit twice, can I? No, but yeah. you can only teleport once per turn. You only get mm -hmm. one reaction. From the... oh, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, fucking work. What are these things? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, by the way. I just fucking hate this spell. I've never loved this spell. You can't, <laughs> you can't even fucking dispel it. You can't I'm, fucking dispel it. I'm so I, uh, sorry. I, I hate these spells. They're so gross. That was the first like, thing I noticed about worst... that spell was it couldn't be dispelled. Yeah. This is the worst spell I've ever had to deal with in my life. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. No, no, be, no like you're not. Oh, Phil's I, fault. I actually am. I actually am. Don't well, knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe I'm hey, next. Try to teleport my weapon out. Sure, I'll allow her. Go for it. I'm just going ballistic at like a wild animal and they're trying <laughs> to get out, just screaming oh, angrily. Man. Like two separate voices, a, a girl screaming, and it sounds like a like a hollow old, yeah. old scary man screaming animalistically. Get man the fuck out of here! And you're what sabotaging like, yourself. I, I, I do. I do think he has dimension door. <laughs> oh, that's because I unselected <laughs> actions. He does have dimension door. Damn it! <laughs> Knew it. Well, See? now you can get him away. <laughs> Ah, oh, just like last time, just low shitty rules. I'm. S I'm. S I hey, at least I didn't feeble, mind you. Well, I would have preferred that because that's a wisdom save, right? Intelligence. Still, I would have preferred it. Like I would have preferred that because at least there would have been a chance. There's no saving throw for this. This yeah. is like this and is fucking it's... ridiculous. It's not even concentration, so he couldn't even drop it if he wanted to. That's such an OP <laughs> spell, it should have concentration, in my opinion. Dude, that's fucking terrifying. Well, I'm, I'm not... The big deal about it is that it costs a super expensive component. Oh. So, so normally, it takes 1,500 gold to cast it once. Well, I guess you owe 1,500 gold the next time. <laughs> Well, whoever hired him to do this is hey, gonna have he to can't pay cast it. it again. It's not consumed. He just has to have the component. Oh. So, so all you see is this poofs or like trying to poof out, like you know those like shadowy things from like um, Grand uh, Harry, uh that the Harry Potter film, like those shadowy misty magic things. It's like that contained, trying to get out, basically bouncing out of this prison, <laughs> just angrily. Um, I I I didn't realize how bad that spell was. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's my first Knock time. Knock it off, Phil. Oh, 
No, it's a good challenge. This is like great drama, honestly. Hey, yes. it's, it's Gilthroy's turn. <coughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I, I convinced the tree to help us, okay? That's true, you did do that. He would have gone on anyone, but he's now targeting the, the, the other group because of your help. <laughs> so he's. Um, Gilroy? Um, what's Gilroy gonna do? Who knows? Um, he's just cool like that. Um, he He's pretty intelligent, so first he's going to. Ah, uh, there's a wall of roots there. Um, how the fuck is he gonna get past it? Man, I just made my I just made my own obstacle. Sorry, I'm just gonna <laughs> get my owl out. Give me a second. Go do your thing. Okay. Dex, 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 dex. Come on, give me something. Uh, thirteen. Yeah, I'll say your owl manages to escape the grasp of the tree. Woo. Uh, and I'll have him stealth and just follow someone. Uh -huh. Shit, I just blocked myself from doing stuff. Um, <laughs> well, he's... Oh, where... He's going to Dimension Door with the fear, because uh, I said he was. But he's going to... What he... Yeah, he would, he would go like... Zoom. All the way down there. And yeah, we'll just say that. For now, the elder is going to make its round of attacks on uh, at advantage. On you. Uh, first one 28 will hit, second one 22 will not hit, 22 will not hit. So you take the 17 half to um, eight. Nine. We're gonna eight, nine because it's an enemy. Yasmin, you've got this um, chariot riding satyr. Okay, so I am going to move a random distance less than 50 feet. Um... Okay, I'm going to move 36 feet. I am going to hide. And I am going to hold an action to stab with my rapier if I am discovered and attacked. I will attack. But I'm hoping that my opponent will assume I went my full distance again. <clears throat> Smart. So I hope they overshoot me and are not able to find me. Not yet. You're dead. Uh, Darth, you're just squaring off against this tree. And... Yep. Round of attacks. Hits. Hits. Then hits. Everything hits. So it does 48 damage. You're, you're 40, I'm sorry, 51 damage. You're taking sizable chunks out of this treant. And if you're the highest for the guess, for some odd reason, you think that he has, like, he originally had around. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Five hundred hit points, and now he's uh, he's seemingly taking uh, quite a bit, and he's now in the three hundreds or something like that. Mm -mm. Wonderful! This is what I came here for. <laughs> he's, Happiness he's, is he's, chopping wood. <laughs> he's really easy to hit. He just has a whole lot of hit points. <laughs> Ava, you watched as this, uh, this uh, Yasmin is your, uh, you watched as Yasmin um, darted ahead and you lose track of where they went. 
Um, actually, what's your passive perception? Yeah, so, and I would have uh, I would have started the stealth somewhere before I went my full right? distance too. Twenty one, right? Yep. That is so correct. you would you would not be able to see her currently. You All don't right. know where she went. So we'll begin flying and searching out. So she'll take her action to make a perception check. Now, is there uh, going to be oh. any sort of? Oh well, it doesn't. It's not enough. No. So, yeah. Never mind. Um, you do not see. You do not see her. But you assume right. she's since she's fleeing from you. She probably went her full movement. Because <laughs> that's a very smart fight <laughs> by you. We know the general direction that she went, and so we'll go. We'll dash up to her full movement, which is a hundred. All right. Um, and not seeing her, um, actually, since I don't see her, we'll go ahead and only roll at 90. So we'll be just short of that. And I'll have the Griffin hold its action in case it happens to see. Um, actually, yeah, we'll do that. Let's see, you uh, went 90 feet and I went 35 feet, so we are now currently 45 feet, uh, 55 feet apart. Oh, did you not move the right distance? Well, I mean, it's hard on this map because the map is much gotcha. smaller. So I'm just, I'm just manually tracking. We are 55 feet apart. Got it. Uh, Opal, force cage, uh, hit yourself, take no damage, teleport out, try it. Try a Christmas save right now. Okay. Yep. You know, for some reason, Gilroy starts to lose concentration. The DC is going to be one lower to an 18. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my <laughs> god. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Just bursting out with absolute rage. I'm not a barbarian, but I go berserk, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, you managed to teleport uh, uh, 30 feet is 10 uh, where, yeah 5, 10, 15, 20 30, then move 45 feet um, acrobatic I'll try to like, get up this wood wall, but um, is it difficult to rain if I go over the wall? because if it's it's a wood can I just it's it's not wood, it's, it's stone it's stone? Uh, as in, oh wait, as in this wall, the yeah. the root, yeah, it would be wood. Okay, does it count as like difficult terrain, like a wood, so I could just like yeet rover with ease? You you would still have to make a check, I would say. That's fine. Yeah. It's not as high, uh, but it's it's still a check to just climb up. Yeah, easy enough. You scale over the wall. Okay. Uh, like, do I have enough to get over to her? Um, let's see, you teleported, like, you teleported 30, so you're here, so you yeah. teleported 30, so then, yeah, you use, I'll say, 10 feet of movement to just get over, and then you have another, yeah, you'd be able to get over to these two, if you wanted to. Okay, like, um, first things first, I'm just gonna attack the Barbarian quickly, because even if I were sure. to... You technically get a plus three, because you're flanking. Uh, oh no no no! Sorry, one of the you only get one attack because one of the attacks you hit yourself with. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So you can only roll, roll one attack here, but you get advantage because uh, they did reckless. As I don't believe swing, the swing as you swing, you hit the the half plate across the shoulder. Ah, finally. More combatants to entertain. And just scream at him like, ah! like a wild, feral animal. Gildroy's gonna start making his way out of the forest along the fear. Because you guys, um, uh, I will quickly to... command my owl to like find any remnants of anything that they dropped. So I'm gonna use a perception check. Before, actually, before Guildgrave leaves, 
Um, he's going to go ahead and cast. Um, where was it? Flaming sphere. That's sixty feet. He's a smart cookie. He knows that the treants don't like fire. He could gather that, so he's going to cast flaming sphere. And he'll cast it third, actually. Oh, whoops, I cast it at second. Uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, he's casting it there. So he's just going to try to hit the tree, and he's not going to hit Darth. So he does one to actively do that. So it's going to be a dexterity saving throw from the tree. Ha! So the treant, you watch as the fire starts to lick up on the treant, and instead of taking 14, he takes um, 28. What, did he just brush it off? Did he... <coughs> Sorry, it was a bad joke. Yeah, he's gonna... Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's his turn, and, and he, he's going to use his movement uh, to just li leave with his affair. So he is Kara. Oh, wait. Okay, I'll use that next turn. Never mind. It's the tree and elder. So the tree and elder is gonna make um, two attacks on the on the big guy here. <clears throat> but unfortunately, he can't seem to hit. Nope. The the staff is spinning and deflecting blows. Great job. We'll play for like fifteen more minutes, I'll say. So I'll say this is gonna be the last round of combat. Okay. So that way it gives me time to wrap up. Alright, Yasmin. Um... I am going to move very slowly with extreme stealth and camouflage. So I'm only going to move uh, 15 feet this way. I mean, I'm off this. I'm kind of going at an angle, so I'll be up off the sheet about there. And since you move less than half your movement, I think that's since you're already hidden, you get to maintain your stealth check. Okay. If you want to make a new one, you could. But uh, you could, you, unless uh, you could just maintain that one that you have. I'm going to maintain what I've got. Okay. So we are now, I'm at an angle, and I went about 15 feet. So I, we're about, we're about 67 feet apart. I don't know that because I don't know where you are, but. That'll end my turn. Oh, I am understand. still also I am still also holding an action, so if I am discovered and something attacks me, I will attack back with my rapier. Rack is dead. <coughs> Darth, uh, you're in combat with two people here. Very well. What will happen now that the man with the armor and the staff will reach up for his metal helmet, the faceplate covering it, and he will pull it back as he takes a deep breath. And all of a sudden, flames begin to kindle and burn coming from the mouth, from the eye sockets, as radiant consumption fills the area. Radiant fire spills from his body charring and burning the area around nice. pretty sick and at this point you may notice that the fallen body nearby is in danger of catching fire if you want to save it you will probably need to pull it away to safety hmm. i wonder if she's comprehensive enough to realize that you can make a check if you'd like to. I, like a um... wisdom save or something. Well, I have I have advantage on wisdom saves. Power of having two minds. Yeah, I have a lot of wisdom save. I'd say it's not a pretty high DC as this was your main mission. 
I'll say DC 10. Okay, I will. DC 12, actually. Ha! <laughs> yes! Nice. You are. So that you breaks through, and you are aware that. You. You have the words in my head, Akasha says, protect my daughter, protect your godchild. Right, and you realize this at all cost. Okay, so I will like grab her body and disengage. Just run as yeah, and disengage with her as far as I can. And as this man with a burning skull sees you run away, he's going to be pushing the tree and back into the forest, fighting it with sheer cries and burning anger until the pair of them disappear. And, uh, by the way, I rolled a 20 for perception on Noctis. Because I was sure. looking for, I told him to look for something. Uh, Noctis would see, uh, Gildroy. Well, yeah, Noctis would see Gildroy and Zephyr. Uh, no, 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 I asked him to look for an item of theirs that they may have dropped. A feather from a griffin or a piece of cloth. Oh, an item of theirs, yeah. Um, I'd say, yeah, you'd be able to find a... I don't think the griffin was ever injured, was it? Well, they still. Uh, yeah, it was dead a couple times. Oh, then yeah, you'd find a feather from the griffin. Okay, Noctis will run with me, right? And then I said, "We'll get, we'll find them. We'll find them for sure. Next time." All right, as you flee and Darth, you're just gonna go head to head with this treant. Yes, the two will rumble in the jungle. And the one is dead. <laughs> you emerge, you will actually emerge victorious because of your fire and you're just, you're raging, just, and you're high AC. You would, tell me how you would slay this. Oh, there would be, all four limbs would be chopped off and there would be a fire placed within the chest of this treant. That one would burn through like a leaving just a charred stump as if lightning had come down with retribution to destroy this thing and is left in the forest for vines and other sources of nature to eat and creep upon the corpse and only you're really able to see this as um ava what are you uh, what are you doing uh, we're going to give it one last shot. Uh, she's still looking around to see if she can see it, so she'll use her action to try and make one last perception check. Go for it before she slips away forever. Yes! 21. Her stealth was a 22. So um, I'll allow the griffin to make a perception check if, <coughs> if it's what you would want. Yeah, it does have advantage. Sure, we'll go ahead and and do that. See if we can catch up to her before we give up. Well, of course, it's we're at a distance, and you're fine. You're looking in a place that I didn't leave tracks at all because I wasn't there. <laughs> we'll let he um... doesn't. He doesn't have a good perception. It's not likely anyway. That's oh. a twenty-two. Oh. That is a twenty-two. What do you want to say, Phil? Is it able to determine that you're in a place I'm? I wasn't. No, um, but I will say you start to pick up on a little bits of tracks, but you you don't find her immediately. This will be like a game of cat and mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't find her. And I'm the mouse. Squeak. Bits of track. I mean, she's she's committed to it. She's gonna try and hunt down the little mouse and finish off her death vendetta. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> All right. Um. So that, so that's you two. As you two, who knows what happens? Who wins? That? <laughs> Only you two would know. Um, uh, let's let's change up the music here as we come to the end. And a death of Lordy is unfortunately, you don't get the death you were hoping for. 
It ah. seems everyone here is just too weak. The journey continues. And um, Opal, uh, what are you doing with the body of Nakia? Um, I try to revivify, revivify her. And funny enough, you actually you cast a spell, and it has been, I would say, it's been less than a, a minute. And as mm. you cast it, Nakia, you were headed to the afterlife. But all of a sudden, there's a jolt. And you take a deep breath. And there you see, you're somewhere in the middle of the forest. There you see Opal staring down at you. Her palms along your chest. And you see little bits of diamond dust um, coming off as she removes her palms. I start crying and holding her like, little Nikki, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm here. Nibis is here. Uh, Did we lose Leah? Is there anything? <laughs> it might be a bit late for her. <laughs> Not yet. Very late, yeah. There it is. There it is. Find anything new, buddy? Why me? You just had to pick on me. It's okay. I've always had your back in the shadows. I think we need to get your mother's help. She owes me a favor anyway. Oh, I think she's going to be very upset to hear that someone came and took my target. They ambushed oh. us. And I got it all on record and I do encoded thoughts and I put it in a bottle and then I start writing a letter dearest old friend it's time to cash in a, a favor but I think you'll uh, like this one for free find them find them, destroy them kill them and I put in, I give the feather and the encoded thought, and I send some of my owls out back to, um, um, to Akasha. Mother is going to be so angry with me. Don't worry. I'll handle her. I always have your back. You're a godparent. And we, we cut to Gilroy. Gilroy, um, as he cast Mansion Door again, he gets further uh, out. He reaches into his sack and he actually pulls out this. Um, he had it somehow. Um, he pulls out this little um, crystal and he reaches down and through a, a ring that he has on his finger, he casts Revivify on Zephyr. <laughs> and Zephyr <gasps> wakes up. He's stable, but he's very injured and he's at one hit point <sighs> and they start making their way back to town when um, after an, about an hour or so trudging his way their way through the icy cold winds that rattled um, both their wounded bodies because Gilderoy took some hits they hear like clapping sound echoing in the howling wind as Declan steps out into the path in front of them. Ah, congratulations on getting the mighty Zephyr back. Alive and somewhat well. Although I see you encountered some trouble. Declan gestures uh, towards Gilderoy's and Zephyr's wounds. You've done an amazing service. And as compensation, uh, I can help with those nasty wounds you've received. And also as promised, for an alive Zephyr, You'll receive your pay, and the guild will be alerted. I noticed the rest of you didn't make it. Mm. Oh, wow. And Declan tosses Gilderoy a large sack of coins, and some spill out onto the powdered snow and the surrounding path. A bruised and bloody Zephyr speaks up. Ah, I thank you for sending me aid. Um, ah, 
how um, and while I'm great grateful, um, how would you know that I was in trouble? I had not alerted anyone. I was ambushed as soon as I got here. And I see Declan looks over to Zephyr, then looks over to Gildroy, and you watch as he Declan mutters a one word. And this word seems to be entranced or laced with this magical essence. And you watch as Gildroy drops dead, as Declan casts Power Word Kill on him. And you watch um, as Gildroy would have been transported his soul to his clone that he had made prior to this journey. But as his soul starts to leave and goes to the uh, clone, it's plucked and it's grabbed out of the air. And it gets sent off somewhere else. Zephyr, sluggish and barely conscious, finds enough strength in it to uh, lift his mace and shield and takes a step forward, staggering as he walks. Until suddenly the gravity around him is amplified forcing Zephyr onto his hands and knees. Straining and grunting can be heard from the onyx-colored Aarakocra as he struggles to barely lift a talon, let alone break free. Zephyr looks up and sees Declan morph and shift, where there was once a simple leather tunic. There is now an opulent, pitch-black robes with a dark plume of raven feathers. The sacred and hard, hardened face of an oldish man is now replaced with a black porcelain mask that resembles the raven. Impossibly long, dark hair drifts beside the figure, as if she's submerged underwater. There, before Zephyr, is the raven queen herself. All of a sudden, the immense weight pushing on Zephyr stops, and he moves at a snail's pace as he rests on one knee. <laughs> Mistress of fate. I, I, I don't understand. Why have me captured and then rescued? And you see is the this angelic voice seems to emanate. Uh, emun, emanate. Emanate? Emanate. That's the word I'm looking yep. for. Yep. From all around with no discernible source. The mask itself, unfeeling, unmoving. My dear champion. The pieces are moving, shifting changing back at the home plane. I need you out of the picture, for my plan can have no interruptions and no unwanted elements. And Zephyr speaks up. Um, but I don't get it. You, you could have just sent me on a mission or just told me not to interfere with whatever's going on. And Zephyr's body is racked with pain and force. And the voice emanates again. You question me and my plans, Zephyr Wars, my champion. You never mind you who controls the strings of fate, and your strings are intertwined with so many others. I rebirthed you in my image for a reason. As such, you are an extension of my will. The pain ceases, but Zephyr, eyes staring at the ground beneath him, avoiding eye can't contact, weakly mutters. Uh, I'm sorry, Mother of Ravens, my queen. Uh, I shall not question you again. The void-like eyes of the Immaculate Mask seem to drill into the depths of Zephyr, piercing his words and searching his intent. Before the voice returns, Good. If you must know, these two groups were destined to intrude and disrupt my plans. Thus, disrupting the plans of fate itself. And now, and the Raven Queen gestures over to the corpse of Gildroy. The group is broken, split up, and I've already plucked this one's soul and transferred it to the Beyond Plane. Now, Zephyr, come tomorrow, you are welcome to return back to Silver Moon. The anchor is destroyed, after all. And by the time you have returned, since Time works a bit differently. My plan would have already been executed. <laughs> and the avatar of the Raven Queen begins to fade away, and in its disappearance lies a raven, which flaps its wings and takes off into the snow-covered treetops, leaving Zephyr alone 
bruised, beaten, wondering what's happening back at home and questioning his faith in his deity. The end. <laughs> so I want to give a huge round of thanks to uh, both Ren and Austin for showing up today. Yay! Yeah, nice Yay! I Thank do you. like cameos. Thanks, guys. No problem. Yeah, good good drama. Time. Good drama tonight. Um, once again, I'm sorry about the force cage. I didn't realize oh, it was that honestly. Bad. Honestly, like when you said 18, <laughs> and I somehow I like, I got through it. That was just it made it so perfect. epic. It, it made, made it so <laughs> great. Yeah. So, okay, you want to hear what our party did with the last force cage that got cast on us? What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> forgot about that. We put a bag of holding into another bag of holding to get oh, out no. of it. <laughs> that would oh. do that. <laughs> I mean, because technically, that makes sense because, like, it's a different dimension. You have a chance to get out of it if you go through there. Oh, oh when yeah, you put a bag of holding, a part of a city. So. Yeah, if you put a bag of holding into a bag of holding, it blow. It just blows up. And sends everyone within the blast radius to the erythral plane. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, and thank you guys for coming. Okay, I have a confession to make Tuesday, guys. They didn't do the same, uh, they didn't do the <laughs> same one shot as you guys did. I was just saying that so it wouldn't be weird. It'd be like, oh, why are they in our game? You know, so they did a different one shot, but they uh, they got to come in here and uh, you know, <laughs> have some fun, hopefully. So that was that was great. Did you like my letter I sent to Akasha? <laughs> I, I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> She's gonna be pissed. She's gonna be pissed. And hey, if we ever do more one shots with me in charge, I could um, I could elaborate on that, and well, we could and see what happens between Yasmin and uh, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> Five years later, we're still playing cat and mouse. <laughs> uh, so, so, so sorry. Who who's the person that played the one with the chariot? Uh, that was me, Austin. Austin. Yeah. Uh, love your role playing. My character loves you. You are on her kill list, since she has a vengeance list. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I'm I'm excited. You are on mine I, too. <laughs> I, so I I was really hoping that I would get to interact with your character a little bit more, but I totally thought that there was no chance that you were getting out, and so I'm like, oh, I'll just go take care, of, try and take care of the other one before they escape, and then come back for to finish off there. But then of course he lowered if I wanted it popped out. So yeah, <laughs> she's gonna come back and just find the cage empty and just be like. Ooh, it's it's good. <laughs>